Okay. <laughs> Welcome to the downside. My name. Can I just? I'll say right out the gate. Josh, Please, by all means. Josh, my, 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 my beautiful girlfriend Tova doesn't often. Um, she's not the type to be like, oh, that guy over there, so hot. Right, like that's not. That she's just not that kind. She's just not. I think it's a, she's a, a good Chabad uh, yeah. Jewish. Uh, 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 and the moment we put on Dixon musical, Tova was like, "Josh, that's my type." Wow. That's, and I texted her right before this. I said, "Hey, can I bring this up on the podcast?" And she said, right "Absolutely not." She said, "No Please chance." Don't. Whoa. She was like, wow. "She was like, I remember seeing uh, 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 identical fucking twins and just being like, oh my god." So wow! So Tova. they wow! This so podcast he's the better sucked. looking version of you. I guess so. Yeah, yeah. I guess so. But it's it's. But that's sometimes it's fun to go outside your type. Yeah. So maybe that's what she. I think you're more close. Yeah, you're yeah. tall, we're brunette, tall, lanky. Yeah. lanky. We're lanky. We're lanky girls. Yeah. Did you? How tall are you? Six foot and also three inches. Okay, me six three and a half. Wow. Okay. Six four. Whoa. Six okay. four. Uh, I'm the Five. short one. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> little buddy. Little boy. I feel like people like lanky, like in high school or middle school. I feel like people like lanky it's as I got older. Word. It's not a great I lanky, like the word yeah. lanky. No, no, oh. I, I, don't, I don't think it's bad. You can own it. I'm just saying it. I, I don't. I, I don't it's, it Reclaim it even. Great. It's like the word like ugly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. I love it. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> not like, not necessarily. Like thin or svelte. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Svelte. Yeah. These are, svelte, these nice. are pop- is class. But if a high Even schooler said svelte, you'd be like, what's wrong yeah, with yeah, you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even the root of the adjective lank is sort of a lank. yuck, yeah. you know? And E. To have lank. Little boy. <laughs> One with lank. One with lank. Lanky. Yeah. No, I think, uh, it, I think it becomes a type when people get older and they're more confident. And that just like I do like a big goofy idiot. Yeah, yeah. 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 It, it, there's an uh, Sue un- me. unseriousness <laughs> to the to language. Right. Yeah. And I, I just want to know quickly. Then I came on screen a little bit later. <laughs> that's what I was. was like, no, then she oh. said they're, she was like, they look they're identical twins. Right. So exactly. it's just as attractive. Otherwise, it's off to a terrible start. There goes one. I'm, there I'm goes one. There goes the other. Pushing the whole podcast <laughs> <laughs> to prove. For, for, for my money, it's I, I always wanted your hair when I was when I was younger. When I you were a little long, girl. I wanted when I was a little girl, I wanted long like Tommy from the Power Rangers. That's what it was for yeah. me. Yeah. Oh. The green and then the white ranger. Yes. Yeah. Um okay, let's focus. <laughs> I, Please. I, for once. You know what the word I wanted to take back was uh, not take back, was foppish. I looked up oh, I thought gosh. I thought I said, Oh well I'm foppish. I'm kind of looking away to say to say I'm I'm gay but straight. Yeah, that's yeah, the yeah, word sure. I'm looking for. Much and better than metrosexual. Yeah, yes. that was that's that's a, a terrible era. word. It was an yeah. awful era. Yeah. yeah, but foppish. I looked it up, and it's it, a big part of it is like uh, well dressed. Mm. Yeah, and that's not I, I'm not foppish in that way. Oh uh-huh, no. But there's a whimsy to foppish that isn't yeah. just you know like svelte and well dressed and that like you know I feel like there's something playful about foppish. Yeah, in addition to being well dressed, it, it, it can feel insulting. What a fop. Yeah, I yeah. mean, in Oscar Wilde, it was like in Oscar Wilde. It definitely was like the one she was supposed to marry, but he was clearly gay or just so non-masculine she didn't like him. Yeah, and that's what the role I would play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did yeah. you do any Oscar Wilde? I did. I did. Um, what's the big one? Ernest. Ports, I did that. Ernest. Ernest. Cool. Ernest, Ernest goes to. Uh, he's a really Ernest good Ernest scared Ernest stupid. Scared stupid. Yeah. Ernest gets stupid. <laughs> that's the big Oscar Wilde. Well, welcome to the downside. My name's Jamarco Sarezi. <laughs> good to write that down so you don't forget. <laughs> really welcome good. That's the, the kind of stuff downside. you don't want to forget. My name's. I'm here with my co-host Russell J. Daniels. How are you doing, Russell? I'm, I'm okay. How are you doing? What's wrong? I'm fine. I can't talk about it. Uh, we'll talk oh, about we can't talk about it. No, not really. This okay. is coming out uh, December fourth. No, so... I'm gonna wait a little longer. I think. <laughs> okay. 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 You wait till oh. the job's done. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, well. Uh, or a uh, job, who knows what I'm talking job. about? Yeah, who knows? Or a relationship, you know, yeah, or horrible, a film you watch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyways, um, I you sent me a video. I would like the full video. Uh, oh, he, yeah. So he's on Broadway right now. He's on. Yeah, yeah. we were there yeah. at the opening night. At opening. Oh my God. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. I couldn't get tickets. Being uh, <laughs> quite foppish. We had so many extras actually. Our whole row. We just for our <laughs> yeah. coats. We got a bunch of seats for our furs. Oh, isn't it so nice? <laughs> who was the producer opening night? Um, Nathan Lane. Nathan, Nathan Lane, Lane, our dad. That was opening night? Yeah. yeah. Oh. Yeah. And you better believe he had some jokes. He yeah. did have some jokes. Yeah. Uh-huh. I actually, really funny thing about him is that he's the only producer that did not stay to take pictures afterwards. <laughs> I heard him leave before the bows were even happening. And 
someone was like, and you can just go down to the lounge. And he goes, I know my way out. And he just kept walking. And he, we were texting him, like, because we went to the party after. And we're like, yeah. we're going to see you at the party. He's like, I'm in a car on the way to the Hamptons. Yeah. <laughs> like, of course you are, yeah. darling. It's got to be exhausting to live. Because every time people, he performs, people want him to turn it on. Yeah. He's got to be. I feel like he did a good job like he in, the, in the rehearsal of, like, giving people what they want, which is kind of like, you know, kind of being bitchy. and Nathan know. Lane. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so it was funny, you know. Um, any cool producers coming up? <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, moving on. I, um, uh, Louis but... C.K.? <laughs> no. Yeah, yes. he would be good. <laughs> that one you would be so excited for. <laughs> He'd be really good. Can you imagine? They need some more controversial producers yeah. like that end. Yeah. The um, hand job lady. Whatever her name is. Lauren Bobert. Yeah. Oh, Lauren Bobert. That would be <laughs> the Anthony Scott connection, too. That yeah. would be good for them. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's oh. Anthony's? Which one? Anthony King and Scott Brown? Yeah. Oh, Anthony wrote it. slash Scott. Yeah, exactly. Anthony yeah. and Scott, who wrote it. Lauren mm -hmm. famously got the hand job during, during their other show. Right. Their that show. is the connection. I'm just saying, you know. Yeah. Wow. It would really make sense. It's an easy ask. Yes. Yeah, yeah just <laughs> a lot of politicians, I think, would be a great addition. Yeah. Yep. So, um, but your friend sent you and you sent me a, a, a video of him doing Tevya in seventh grade. Yes. Oh, Tevya and, Jr. Wow. And I or thought the... Fiddler on the Roof yeah. Jr. Yeah. <laughs> Tevya, Tevya, not Jr. Tevya Jr. Oh <laughs> uh, what, do, does it have a happy ending? Um, no. Sunrise, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. sunrise. Um, no, but I, I thought I would How be does better. Have, when uh, I, Fiddler on the Roof Jr., it's, it ends with them uh, forming Israel. Yes. <laughs> yep, yeah. Yeah. Topical. Um, What's happening there? <laughs> With Israel. <laughs> well, this is coming out December fourth, so I assume it's all fine yeah, by now. Yeah, it's oh, all cleared up. Assuming. By the way, I did. I did get a. I did get my first. Uh, so, we we finally opened the gates of, of expressing ourselves a little bit more politically on the show, yeah. and and I got a. Um, I got my first person who canceled some tickets because of of what we said on the podcast. Oh, this felt like a big day for me. That's great. So they, they made that clear. That that was the reason for the they cancellation. Like to make it clear. They said, yeah. I bought the priority tickets to see your Friday priority. show in D.C. Oh, in March. Wow. They're, they're 35 bucks. I've been so excited. What does that get you? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, what does what priority get, get you? Meet and greet? Meet and greet? No, that's free as free as a bird. <laughs> uh, it. I honestly don't know. I think you Some get crowd to, work about you? Tug and pull? I think they get, to, <laughs> they get to sit up closer. That's oh, so nice. nice. Which, You're going to get in an Instagram reel, I bet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, 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 that's in the splash yeah. zone. Um, I've been so excited, but you really don't understand the issues behind the conflict in Israel. Great. If Hamas is not defeated, Israel will be destroyed. It's literally explained as such in Hamas's charter. Israel and Israel alone is trying desperately to save civilians. Your stance on this is just wrong. We did a big pro-Hamas stance. We do walk yeah. that back. Yeah. <laughs> we do walk that back. That was a little harsh. Uh, <laughs> I won't be there Friday night now. I just can't stomach it. Please read more about the history. Maybe your conservative parents are actually worth listening to on this one. Oh. You are a Jewish comedian with a following. Your words matter. You owe it to yourself and your fans to speak truthfully. And, and then so, they sent nudes. Uh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So for anyone listening, I just to say, I take it all back. Please buy the tickets <laughs> Keep your again. Priority tickets. I need these priority <laughs> sales. It's a that. door deal. Please. <laughs> right to lens. <laughs> uh, so, your your fiddler. Yeah. Yeah. I want that video. I can ask her. It's on a VHS. She said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's um, no way to get it. Yeah. So, but I, she sent me like uh, 30 seconds of it with her talking over the whole. I know, thing. but but um, you know, I was shocked. I I sound fine. Uh -huh. the singing is there. Russell yeah. thought but he was better. I thought I was. Russell you thought, know, you thought you thought you thought, thought we'd watch it. We'd be like. Like, wow, that's really, really that's good for yeah. a seventh grader. If I saw that performance now, I'd be like, that kid should not be going into acting. Like it was bad. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like Don't you hate it was not. really like going through the motions. I, I there was no there was no behind it. Do you, you know, to life, to life. You know, you're just like. <laughs> well, to be fair, you're not a Jew, and you that's shouldn't have been so playing that part true. at all. It was really inappropriate to begin with. <laughs> um, but it's seventh grade. You still had time to become a Jew, maybe. I maybe you were a Jew in waiting. Three times sure, <laughs> three times before the age of twenty. <laughs> Wow, high school as well. <laughs> high school, middle school, and in college. Wow, so all like that you went that order. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I had know that feeling though. If I, I, I did Music Man in eighth grade as Harold Hill, uh -huh. and 
I do have the same thing where I'm like, I think I was probably like good for an eighth grader. Yeah. But I'd be horrified if I was like, 76, Trump. I know. Not. You thought you were uh-huh. giving. I was Winthrop in sixth grade. Oh. Which one's the, that's were you the always little tall, kid? though? Marian. Yeah. Yeah, I was tall. Was like... uh, but, you know, still, I was <laughs> I tall. had length. A Winthrop taller than I w- Harold well, Hill. So I was shorter than Harold Hill, but then I did hit a growth spurt, and then I was like almost as getting to be, because he, he was young, too. Yeah. Um, he was like a ninth grader or so, maybe a tenth grader. But, yeah. It got a little like, oops. Oopsie. What was you, were you were you a theater middle schooler? I had a really illustrious third grade where I was in um, Oliver as you know orphan number nine uh-huh. and best great Christmas role. pageant ever and oh, also Peter Christmas. Pan in were one you, year and that were was you in sort best of it. Christmas pageant ever. Also don't remember. Yeah, I was orphan I was number nine. The yeah, orphan number nine and all Same and in role. Peter Pan. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that's first true though. Lost boy. Have you watched any of the Peter Pan uh, bloopers? Yeah. It's one of the it's, reasons it's like YouTube oh, was yes. invented. Oh, yeah. oh th- some of those, it's yeah. the f- hardest I've ever laughed in my life. This I, Peter Pan was one of those where like a married couple comes in and, and in three days puts up the show. Do you uh, know what I mean? Where they're like, oh, yeah. tra- where they come in on day one, you do these like faux auditions. Then you, It's basically like a, a thing you pay for. And then they like build this show where Summer. he plays like Peter and she plays Wendy and you all have like little roles. And then you like do it on a Wednesday night or whatever. Yeah. I was Peter Pan. Wow. Oh my God. Um, well, uh, before we get into this theme music and get get to business, I do want to since we're reading since we're reading things, I do want to read one of the reviews that one of you posted. Oh, great! A, about about your <clears> movie, <throat> yeah. Uh, that I think, um, uh, uh, Russell, you read it. I read the last one. So this was a review of of your movie. Oh, uh, yeah. Dicks, the musical. Okay. Uh, okay, it's gonna be good. I am a lesbian, <laughs> and this was literally conversion therapy. I felt like I was hate crimed and an unwilling witness to incest porn <laughs> at the hands of two severely mentally deranged individuals. That was actually so traumatizing. My girlfriend and I cried, <laughs> and people were screaming in the movie theater. <laughs> Whoever enjoyed this is actually fucking psychotic and needs to be hospitalized immediately. Aside from that, it was ableist, homophobic, racist, completely unhinged, and disgusting. <laughs> this movie is everything conservatives imagine when thinking of same-sex immorality, and for once, I fucking agree. <laughs> Again, I'm a lesbian. This was sickening. What the fuck is wrong with you people? <laughs> that so it's a rave. So it's, it's a rave. Good. So it's a rave. Russell, when you wrote that, what exactly? <laughs> yeah. I'm a lesbian. This I'm a is lesbian. the downside. I'm dying to know what part. Oh, sorry. No, it's fine. You can talk over it. It's. I feel like an idiot. You're listening to the downside. <laughs> the downside. That's Douglas. With John Marco Cerezi. That's Douglas. Oh my God. Douglas. Douglas. Douglas Goodhart. Douglas. Voice over King. Um. Is have you gotten uh, uh, more reviews like that, or is that? Oh, I mean, that we really, did. Get, we yeah. got. Uh, well, we got a lot. Another uh, good one that just like the the pull quote is. Um, Maybe I can Hit, find it. Hitler was trying. Hitler tried to cleanse the world of this filth a hundred years ago. Oh. <laughs> and it's like, oh, so this, you find out like halfway through, this is a pro Hitler. <laughs> this is a, a real Nazi <laughs> review. Anti like, movie, but pro. We should have gotten rid of the gays when we had a chance. I think reviews should have to say that up top. To be clear, I'm pro Hitler. So yeah, 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 yeah. With a, I am a lesbian. Again, I am, am pro Hitler. With a kind of salt. <laughs> All caps. Um, so, two raves. another one we really love. Raves. Well, I loved it. Oh, we love and it. and I will say this too, because I think I I I sometimes I think I'm I'm not as uh, silly uh, com- like I don't like my dad loves Naked Gun. I'm not saying it's Naked oh, Gun, yeah. but like silly. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, we naked like gun. Naked Gun. And and it, when I saw it, it was so fucking uh, surprising and joke dense. It was, was so say, that's joke the Naked Gun at all. Dense. I, I, but even Naked Gun, it doesn't have it doesn't have teeth. Like the jokes don't always have teeth. But where we I'm do really miss like joke a line. I miss joke a line, or at least attempt at joke a line. Yeah, yes. you know what I mean. Yeah. You're allowed to say some of them aren't jokes or unfunny, but it's like at least you give it a go. Every that's line. what I would tell yeah. people about Titanic. Yeah. I would say like jokes, it's joke a sure. line, and even if you don't like one joke, just like wait, wait eight four seconds. seconds. Yeah. Yeah. One is gonna come around that yes. you might yes. enjoy, and that's yes. how I, that's what I say about ours. But then it also had it just had the like it had the uh, some jokes were. As as this uh, your reviewer perfectly stated, ableist, racist, homophobic, <laughs> and then some some jokes that were so so gr- gross, and uh, uh, I because w- I don't really think in a sil- like I I cling to the, like very kind of uh, 
regular jokes and I'm like, oh, this functions. Yeah. But I feel like, has there ever been a moment or something that you picked in this where you're like, what if the Sewer Boys doesn't work, period? Because yeah. you dig I, so, <laughs> and, and it, it worked. Yeah, and, the and whole I, time you're like, I cannot believe. So many questions. They're going the deeper <laughs> into this. <laughs> it's just so it keeps going, yeah. and it worked. It's it worked. funny you phrased it that way. Of like, yeah, you latch on to function and jokes. It made me occur. I think we are anti-function and yeah, jokes. Yeah, I think sometimes there's rarely a function mm. for any of our humor. Yeah. But how I disagree. But, but I look I at disagree. it. It is functional. <laughs> but it's just like it's it's. <clears throat> <clears throat> it, it, we like it surprise. Was, I do yes, think there's yes. a lot of that, of like, how can you sort of mm. keep people guessing? I just think of little things like, I don't know, was there like a sparkle through you and then you saw the dick line in the uh -huh. pants? It was just constant. Uh -huh. Yeah. How many versions of the puppets did you lay, go through before you had like we had, not many yeah, really we I didn't think. have like we described them very we don't write a lot of stage directions when we write, mm. but then for the sewer boys, we described them very densely. And then the director, Larry Charles, did a lot of sketches, and he just sent us... Oh, and we sent him, like, a mood board with, like, E.T., Gremlins, Slender, Slender Man, Man uh, Pan's Alien, Labyrinth. Yeah. Um, Pan's Labyrinth. Yeah, we sent... Gollum. Gollum. <laughs> yeah. And we're like, something like this. Yeah. Um, and then he did a bunch of sketches, and then he sent them to the puppeteers and I think they would come back with like better sketches and then but they also they have they're heavily chested. They have like yeah, they have yes. that, like yeah. That yeah. thing where you're like chest concave. Skinny, yeah, yeah, yeah. skinny little waist. Ooh skinny little girls. Yeah grippable waist. Yeah. <laughs> um and and I, I well first for people also I would say we did a one billion drafts of this movie because yeah. it had such a weird long life yeah. and at one point was even at Fox so I it was know. like very different I remember every single draft Act Three was we have to rescue the Sewer Boys that was like something that we never let and go always of. you'd get no, like that you'd turn it in and then it'd be like and what are the Sewer Boys <laughs> yeah. that's what I was talking before I was like I'm so curious on that process of like doing it because you must have had people being like wait. What? Yeah, like, which is again why I think in drafts it grew and grew because like we uh, he's right we don't like much stage direction really and yet there's like fully a page and a half of block text when it gets to that and it's like they are from hell yeah. they are beautiful they are covered in slut like we really yeah. popped off on that because I think it was clear well, to us kept, people would I, again <laughs> you just don't know how they're reading it but they would be like and so they're are these little boys? And the stage is like, they are monsters. They are from hell. They are lizards. Yeah, they are like, monsters. Like, and they'd be like, so he has little boys in a cage? You'd be like, yeah. no. Oh, uh, <laughs> think e People would be like Chris Kattan, right? Like Chris Kattan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, no, yeah. No, 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 no. Mango. 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 I think a lot of people read it as his, mango. What would he eat the he apple? He would eat an apple. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But that was yeah. a mango. Mr. Peepers. Oh, no, no, Mr. Peepers. Peepers. He had yeah, two. Mango was... Wow. Mango, was mango like the no, gay guy. Just, but mango Everyone was very physical, with. too. Yeah. Yeah. He was they were all physical, but Mr. Butt. Peepers yeah. was more yeah. sewer boys. Yeah, Mr. Peepers. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Poor guy. Chris Kattan. Oh, God, I know. He's alive still. He's alive. He's alive. No, he does, like, stand-up tours. He does all the clubs. All the time. But then it's... I... People say that the opener does like 45 and then he comes out and he's like, I was on SNL. He does Night at the Roxbury. Yeah, yeah. He I like can't because of his neck like, anymore. It's, it's, oh, that's uh, true. I went yeah. on a weird YouTube wormhole about him one night and just was like watching clips of him for like an hour. And yeah. Was, yeah, yeah, and it was like probably pre-accident, but still relatively recent. And that's like a big shtick, you know? He was he was good, right? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, gr fabulous. And he had all these comedian. characters, you know? I saw Night at the Roxbury at the right age where for me it was like... It was funny. It was a funny, and honestly, I was so young, it was like, it was sexy, too. When Molly, oh. it's Molly Shannon, right? Oh, yeah. When Molly Shannon puts Will Ferrell's hand on her boob, oh, yeah. I was I like, forgot because he's in Superstar as well. I yeah. forgot she was in that. Yeah. Um, this is the downside. For those just tuning in, <laughs> I'm Play the amazed. song again. We'll talk over <laughs> I'll it. I'll talk over it again. <laughs> this is a place... How did you do that without your notes? How did How, you uh, that? Shut, <laughs> This is uh, this is a place where we can we can uh, complain and we can be, we can be negative and we can share failures and and we don't have to uh, pretend to be thankful or 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 nice. Mm. And uh, it's a place to you know feel free to to reveal who you really are. Uh -huh. If you're a fan, join the Patreon, patreoncom slash downside Bonus episodes, our live episodes, and my special, the rats are in me. Um, uh, I I don't want to harp too much on, on on the movie. Everyone should go see it. Oh, we're 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 here with Josh Sharp and Eric Jackson, oh my God. Yeah, the creators of Dicks the Musical. You need to see it. It's available VOD yes. right now. Yes. Um. The the one scene. Spoiler alert. Well, Russell and I. We've certainly uh, in our sketch team. We've done things where 
physically we're in, we're entangled. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, uh, Russell, you've you've. I think the most graphic is you took a shot of vodka out of my belly button. Uh huh. Uh-huh. And you sixty nine, but but with clothes. Yeah. You know. We say, oh sure. Well, Chris and I did. No, Chris and I have done. Chris and I have done it too. Yeah. Oh, interesting. But Chris, Chris. <laughs> But you put us to shame. Yeah. And listen, I always... Spoiler, spoiler. Spoiler, spoiler. So spoiler, listening. spoiler. Yeah. Skip ahead. Uh, it, it, there's there's a, con- a, a talk about a surprise where, where you guys uh, make love uh, uh-huh. vigorously. Mm. And uh, so shooting that. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about that day. That was the last day. Last day. Good. Good. Honestly, because we always knew this sex scene would be... We wanted it to be very violent. It was always like it should be very... Um, gymnastic and violent uh-huh. so we asked them because it wasn't always the last day and we were like could it be our last shot because i want to not worry i'm gonna hurt myself like i want to like oh. go for it and yes. be like if i sprain an ankle we're good are you nude nude or wearing something you have so <clears throat> they i saw your eyes roll a little bit oh i just was i, I no i'm i'm happy <laughs> sure <laughs> you sound it you sound so um, you sound happy. They, we had like modesty yeah. pouches but it uh, uh, it is quite a vigorous sex scene so we were in our trailers like putting them on and you just like take a step and they fall off because this isn't like you're in bed with julia roberts yeah, they're like, used being to sensual. like an it's show very like, yeah. sort of, like so we know. were like these aren't gonna work so then the intimacy coordinator gave us these <clears throat> they had like draw straight like you put your cock and balls into it and then it like you you cinch it and then it's like a cup like an athletic cup and then they like tape it and she did it like for us over too. your pubic hair. Did they have a second intimacy coordinator to oversee the taping? No, she she <laughs> fully came in and was like, taught <laughs> me how to great. do it. And I tried, and she was on the other side of the door, basically being like, if you have trouble and are comfortable, this is my job. I'll yeah. put it on for you. And I was like, I don't know what I'm doing, so please come in. And so she was fully there, like, all right, baby, yeah. like getting it in there. Wow. So it, it was not coming off. No, no and it you hurt. Did, and it hurt. It hurt. And I had like, like it had like hours. rubbed around my cock and balls pretty raw. So I had like a f- whole like, you know, abrasion around it for like a week. Oh my God. Wow. Now, what are the sag rules? Are you, you're not allowed to show Tova, cock? Tova. <laughs> Tova. <laughs> Tova. <laughs> she doesn't Tova. around the sag rules. <laughs> no, I mean the no, abrasion. The cock around the, the yeah, balls. Yeah, the abrasion. Oh, oh yes, yes, Sorry, yes. Tova. Right. Even more her type. <laughs> I um wait what the SAG rules? What are the I, SAG? I mean, rules? you're allowed to show dick in a movie. I think it's just like because Fassbender, everyone's always he's always flopping his right. cock around. I think you can do whatever you want. I you think they maybe it. just um it will be for sure rated R. But then I think since we were supposed to be like penetrative, obviously you're not allowed to do that. And I think it's like because I remember they did that for that Shia LaBeouf movie. Um, Nymphomaniac. He, there was oh, penetrative, sex. That. penetrative sex, but but it was filmed in Europe, so it wasn't SAG. Uh, and there was, oh. it was, it was, I mean, it was they were fucking. Yeah. yeah, it was. It didn't do anything. I actually don't I think know. it's fine if you want to do that. I, listen, art. I think art I is think, art. Go for it. There, I tell the story all the time. But the, I went to the Museum of Sex, and it's it was kind of lame and there. cheesy. But the, but oh, I was about there, to say like I love. But then the special exhibit was cool. It was like um like you know sex through media and like through the ages or whatever. And then they showed this this very famous video of Chloe Sevigny like sucking dick. Yeah. And um, then she's getting interviewed about it. They, and they also had the interview, and she's like, oh, my God. I knew people were going to freak out about that. <laughs> it's art. <laughs> so God bless me. Yeah. Fully just, like, like sucking on a cock, like, looking at lens. Um, but it's what, what art. What movie was this? It's the, not, it's like, a, it was, like, a movie, The Brown something. Yes. The Brown Bear or, or something. Or something. Or yeah, I can't remember. But it's just mm. a scene from a movie. But she's, like. Because the director was also the actor, I think. Is you gotta you write know. your own roles, yeah, yeah, yeah. people. Yeah, let that be a lesson <laughs> for you. You gotta write for let yourself. That be a lesson for you. <laughs> <laughs> um, Only you will know your own dick. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can't expect some writer to know like what your cock the way you yeah, do. You want to get sucked off by Chloe? Yeah. yeah. Um, you just expect <laughs> audition for that. I know no. the perfect angle. I think we want to <laughs> see yeah, this. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so funny though. Maybe we don't film it at all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shoot, I left the lens yeah. on. Just do this on. to decide who gets the part. <laughs> yeah. Um, was there any part of you that said, uh, uh, and I, only because you've talked about this publicly, but you've 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 been uh, lovers before. <laughs> we have, Which gay guys haven't? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Oh no, my mic's cutting out. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Not uh, Was there any part of you that's like, just let us do it? 
I think no, no. because it was so like none <laughs> not, of. Oh, not do it. I didn't mean pedo. I just meant naked. I I think because oh. it was so violent, it really felt like it was more to protect yeah. yourself. Yeah. Well, uh-huh. And you're thinking about the, ass. His ass is in it. Mine, oh, yeah. just because of the shots, it's not. But we were like, you can show. Uh, we didn't care about our ass. Yeah. And you are. And you are. Yeah. I guess I didn't feel like I wanted to show cock. But uh, you, I would have had to see it and see if it was funny enough. But also, <laughs> some of it is the comfort of other people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Where you're just thinking about like sure. doing True. the work with like. Because you forget there's like a hundred people around. So it is sort and of becomes a thing I, that just I, feels. Also because I, I kind of believe that most things they say in the movie are true, even though they're absurdist because like the sewer boys and the, and the, there's a, a vagina that's mentioned a lot. Yes. And, it, and then it, it is revealed yeah. that she was not lying and she does have a disembodied vagina. Was that her vagina? Megan Mullally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. The one that was she flying at the end. She very generously <laughs> lent it to the film. <laughs> but these well, you get guys say from they sad. have um, 17 inch cocks. And while Josh and I are both extremely hung, they're not Tova. 17. <laughs> Tova. So I didn't want to show that. <laughs> I, I did want it to be like yeah, I wanted yeah, to I wanted it, to, it they really in my mind they really are hung 17 yeah, yeah. and we're 16 there was a joke pitched at one point that didn't make it where we were gonna black bar our cocks oh, but yeah. with long crooked long, yeah, yeah like bars long <laughs> crooked like fully like huge yeah. cause it says that it, the lyric is they have seven It's the cock is seven inches long curves to the left then goes ten inches more yeah. that's a lyric and that to me is truth mm. that's canon <laughs> that's Scaled so so no, I don't think we wanted to either show it actually for that reason or and I or do it really, even though it was like I've seen it. But the you standing know. sixty nine though, who was holding both? We both we did, did it both, both ways. You and did it both that, ways. You're so you have this big modesty sock on, but you don't have like a modesty asshole covering. Yeah. No, so that is sure very, that is that is that is Shiloh. that sort of is. <laughs> so that's like because <laughs> that I is I, Chloe. I wore a thong. <laughs> I wore a thong for that. That uh, the yeah. sketch where where he eats deli meats off my body like oh, sushi, yeah. but uh-huh. it's very twisted. And mm-hmm. and then when I bowed, apparently every like my my joke bow was like the the guy who can't remember who bows the wrong way. Yeah, and, you and then apparently everyone saw deep inside me. Yeah. yeah. Well, that was what That's was funny because so it was one of the first shots, and we had them like I remember I was holding Aaron upside yeah, down first. first, and so they like helped place him in, and then they said do it, and I'm running across. And I'm so I do it, and I'm like, wow, 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 because the whole thing's cartoony. <laughs> and then Larry is like, doesn't look real. You gotta really get in there. And I was like, if I really, there's nothing covering that part. So if I really get in there, it will be like ass on mouth. Yeah. And, and fully, and you're in this like closed set, so there's only like two people in the room with you, and then everybody else is like 50 feet away watching on monitors. So I just heard this voice from across the room be like, and are you comfortable with that or? <laughs> <laughs> I was sort of like, I'm fine with it. I just am saying out loud for the room, for we didn't say know. we were going to film real snuff. Yeah. And now we sort of are. So well, Larry Charles, okay? he has like two famous like naked scenes. Like, yeah. He has, yeah. He's like. And he spoke of the Borat naked fight in this because with, this was not actually, again, we did a billion drafts, everyone with the sewer boys. Not everyone had a sex scene, but Larry was very much like, we have to see it. We yeah. have to do it. Yeah. So that was always something he wanted. And he always said, he was like, it'll feel like the naked fight in Borat. People yeah. will be screaming in the theaters. The Lesbians naked fight in Borat. He was said. it censored? Did they have bars over? Yeah. They, they had they're, bars. They're pixelated or something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he I, was really naked, Sasha. Yeah, and, and oh, he is like yeah. in his balls, and I think you see the balls or something, because I watched it sort of recently, and you do see more than I remembered, but yeah, you don't see full. And there's something in Bruno, too, where someone's getting like something up the ass, like a toy or something, and Larry was like, that was also real. <laughs> I, I've Larry. said it before, I miss that element of comedy. I think Jackass? like... Jackass? Uh, uh, just oh. like... Jacko. Just naked nudity. Yeah, I, like, I feel like, like yeah, 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 yeah. It is funny. It's it is funny. It's always it's funny. funny. It's shocking. Even shocking. a hot person yeah. is like funny naked. Like it's well, funny. And, yes. and it's shocking, but I also think the shock of it is so silly that it, it like, like gr- graphic violence is shocking and should be. Yes. Whereas nudity is shocking and sort of shouldn't be. And so that is funny to me too. Yeah. Like that you yeah. feel this way about something that's so silly ultimately, you know, that it's Everybody not. has a body. Yeah. And it's not really doing anything to harm anyone, especially which, when it's non-sexualized, which even sex, like who cares? But like, especially when it's just nudity, it's like, what are we in a tizzy about? Yeah. Would you rather show dick or hole? And I mean, like, show hole, like hole. spread hole cheeks, or hole. Hole. yeah, like, like, uh, let's say a full on. You got to pick up three items, camera, <laughs> camera face with you, dick. or you have to run I across guess, the screen. I guess, out. I guess oh, you have to dick. pick up three items with your dick too. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's part of it. What about you? And Chloe Sevigny is holding the items. Does that help? 
<laughs> uh, it was art. <laughs> Holding God, those I knew you were gonna freak out about Dick, this. Dick, is, Dick is is I I have to really, I'm fine, yeah. I'm fine, but I'm ner- I'm just anxious. Do you, you, we t- we've uh, uh, what's his name? Um, there's some guy he showed his dick in a movie and they, people well, said it was me. small and, and that's all anyone talks about his entire life and, for the rest of his and, life. And I I think even like let's say average, big, small, whatever. Camera if, adds ten pounds. If you show dick. <laughs> If you show dick on camera, it will get screen grabbed, yeah. and then it will be on like sure. male nudes, celebs, yes. cop, no yeah. matter what. Even if it was, even if you're not famous, and yeah. you just like are in the background, like that you you can that euphoria scene where you don't even see the people's faces, and there's like a they're in the boys' locker room, and you see like sure. fifty penises. Mm-hmm. That's all. It's so it's like it is forever online, which is like who cares? But you will. Yeah, you're, there it's will kind of good for guys. It's a good for us to experience it a little bit because for women, yeah, it's yeah. like it's constant. Yeah, yeah. Fe- yeah, yeah, yeah. You're yeah. always sending me Sydney Sweeney screenshots always. from Euphoria <laughs> three in the morning. I'm like, Russ, I don't need to see these. Why go to the bed. screen first. Show needs tomorrow. Them. He needs them. <laughs> <laughs> um. <laughs> so, uh, you guys have have been working together for a long time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, God, just just that. Oh, help. I knew you were gonna freak out about that. <laughs> <laughs> Every question you ask. <laughs> Art. It was art. <laughs> Just to, yeah. to have a collaborator who you really trust, that would be so nice. Yeah. Uh, How old is Uncle Function? God. Eight years. Eight years. Oh, so then. It'll be nine in April. Okay. Can I just say, though, if we, if, if Uncle Function, if we had also mixed, if sex had been an element of our sketch team, we wouldn't survive. No, that's true. Not at all. There's too many, too. I think, you know. Someone's left There'd be out. a lot of hurt feelings. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, sure. sure, yeah. The <laughs> psychosexual yeah. dynamics. Yeah. Who would you who would you sleep with first? <laughs> well, here we go. Oh, there, Jessica, we go. Jessica's, up the tea. Jessica's taken out. What, 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 who, which? Me, Chris, Douglas, or Joseph? Um, hmm. You think having sex would have turned you apart? I think this question is more likely <laughs> to tear you apart than if you'd do you actually just do answer? it. I think maybe not you. I think, I... <laughs> I think maybe because I have an well, easy answer. Good. Then not it's you. Not you were going to be my choice, not anymore. <laughs> yeah. No, I think I think uh, Chris wouldn't like to hear this, but I think we'd fall into it. We'd be fighting. Uh huh. We'd be fighting, yeah. yelling, and then before you know it, yeah, yeah, it's a wrestling moment. And yes. Then, yes. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, for sure. I, I see yeah. that. Yeah. Um. Probably Joseph. Yeah. Yeah. You see and that. These show you the ropes. Yeah. These, I was going to ask, are these all straight men or is Joseph? Yeah. Well, Joseph's gay. Joseph's gay. There you go. Yeah, you want to have sex. Oh, with yeah. He's a great handhold. You don't want, Better you don't want to be a first. Just, two, just, just Joseph, two men in their 30s Joseph, figuring it out for the first time is, Joseph, is rough. <laughs> Joseph feels like he's lived a lot of lives. He feels like he, <laughs> like he, I, he just, there's, there's something, you know. Sure, uh, sure. Yeah. I mean, even if you two are just, fig- I, a lot of gay sex is intuitive because you, mm. you have experience with the parts. You know what I mean? So I think you could figure it out, but you'd like. I feel like it would, there to surprise. I feel you like it would be stuff. like when you try to put on a tie for someone else. Like I'd have to wrap my oh, legs sure. around sure. and just sure. jerk you off. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it looking in the mirror, <laughs> and also your dad's there explaining it. how to do it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he does not. There, so I have to go to the bar mitzvah and find someone else's uh, dad to do it for me. That's that was one of that was one of the like, oh, my family sat where I had to go to the bar mitzvah, and your dad had to jerk you off. <laughs> And I, I had to. That was the bris. Someone was else was on. dropping off their kid. <laughs> <laughs> someone else was. I'm sharing a traumatic moment of my childhood. <laughs> no, we know. We got four or five more interruptions. I <laughs> <feel>. <laughs> we can riff on anything. Good luck, brother. <laughs> <laughs> and someone else's dad would be dropping off their kid, and I'd say, Mister, Mister, could you to help me tie my tie? Wait, would your parents just sent you. Undressed there? Well, how, how? Yeah, you were nude. What, like what? I don't know. I th- I just think my dad was in a rush. The person's like, "Honey, the tie's the least of your worries. You need <laughs> underwear, clothes, the rest." Yeah, of stop it. jerking off. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Are you Jewish? Mister, Mister. No, but I um. D- d- do you feel I look Jewish? Well, Tova certainly must if she's attracted to you. I will oh, say, and I don't know if this is just a, you know blanket all approach. When you know when you're in Union Square and they're like, "Excuse me, are you Jewish?" I get asked every single time. Sure. What are but, you? Uh, honey, Christ is King. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no I, you know, I was I was raised Christian, I guess, but then I'm just sort of a white person. Mm. There's nothing interesting in the last European couple generations. Mutt? Yeah, European yeah. M- European mutt. Yeah. How how Christian are we talking? <laughs> I was raised Presbyterian. 
Which so that's pretty Christian, that? but in the South, I would say on the like you know conservative to liberal scale, it's like maybe edging conservative, but not full. Like a lot of Baptists are maybe more conservative, and then like so it's Pentecostals like, and stuff oh, are the most conservative. So you're you're. Do you think that's why? Do you think coming from that background partially leads to where you are friends? I mean, you yeah, both definitely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about it? What do you think that? What do you think that did to you? I I don't care about religion sure. and, but, and, but I have I have seen it be very good for people and very bad so I think I think I when I was like I'm not religious anymore I was like fuck this if you're religious you're fucking crazy and now I have seen it be good um but I I think we just had a very similar track with it where yeah. we like we were all in and then we were all out <laughs> I liked it a lot at the time yeah yeah same actually. I, I mean I hated going on Sunday morning but I hate to wake up Mm-hmm. Sure. I'm not an early bird, um, so I was like, we, "We only have two days off a week from <laughs> yeah. school, and one of them yeah. I gotta go fucking wake up again." Yeah, yeah, I hated that. Was it was it a, a boring church? Anything fun? Singing? No, I yeah, I lo- we had an amazing choir. I loved the singing. I loved the ki- I loved the kids stuff. You know, sermons are boring, but it, it, yeah, I, yeah, it yeah. was good. Well, I was a child. Yeah, church was the boring part, but everything else around yeah. it I actually liked a lot. Like all of the like youth groupy stuff and. There's a lot of like teen leadership stuff. I played in like praise bands, mm. like all that shit I really loved. Again, there's like a butterfly effect, a universe very close to ours where I'm a youth pastor. You know what I mean? Like really? it's like I feel like there's two things that happen differently in wow. that. And that now is, you're a delinquent. Yeah, and instead I'm wow. a delinquent. In that multi- in that other universe. Instead, I mean ass on cam. <laughs> <laughs> that <laughs> is true. Do you think though that part of like being in that uh, uh, generally repressive environment made you go so far into this kind of I want to be like offensive humor and and probably some. I also think I would. It is also campy. We've talked about yeah. it before. Like a lot of church is very campy because mm. there's such like pomp and pageantry and and yet also a ton of like um, what's the word I'm looking for? Repression yeah. because you have to sort of like push down certain things while celebrating others and the stakes are so high because the most mundane things still that it's like but does this glorify God or not? Right. You know what I mean? That That is like the mm-hmm. stakes of every single thing so it is pretty but I think I've always had uh, church aside authority issues like I like to challenge power mm-hmm. <laughs> even, um, at, even as a little boy plug this. <laughs> yeah <laughs> you two Good are the luck. most powerful <laughs> men I've ever Good met. luck um, <laughs> But you know, I like I I was all, I was like a temper tantrum little brat to my parents, and then if I liked the teacher, I was good to the teacher. But if I didn't like the teacher, I was uh, like very sarcastic. Mm. Very Ex- explain. I me. feel that, but I also feel the surprise thing we were talking about, where it just feels like offensiveness feels so still like the fact that it is naughty is what's it's fun. But I also like silly shit too. It's like yeah, anything yeah, yeah. that feels like it's not <clears throat> what you're supposed to do. Sure. Lack of function. Did you, know? you get in trouble? Like, were you were you like a, a bad boy? No, not really. I was a pretty good boy. I just like talked too much. Mm. But I was a pretty good boy. I was pretty good, but I did get suspended for marijuana in high school. No, I was I was eldest child and didn't be, didn't misbehave at all. Like, didn't drink till college. Like that kind of vibe. Sure. Yeah. Uh, I was marijuana. How'd now. you get caught? Um, well, neither me and my friend don't remember, but apparently we were driving. I had a weird period off that was that was legal, but it was like not. It was weird to have that period off, and we were allowed to leave campus. So I was driving. So I think they were already like, "Why is this kid leaving?" And then my friend was skipping class with me, and apparently he was like loading a bowl. But I feel like we weren't that dumb, but I guess we were because then when we drove back in, the golf cart came up and was like, "Do you have pot in the car?" And we were like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. And it was like, we saw you. It was like, okay, yeah, we have it. Like, yeah, it's Colorado. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Chill. You probably have <laughs> weed in your golf cart. I know. And it was so because I was like lead of all the plays and he was like head of student government. And so when we went to the principal's office, they were all so sad. They were like, oh. not you two. Oh. Like they were wow. like, why you two? <laughs> you think they'd have a change of heart. They go, oh, wow, the people we like want to do this yeah. maybe it's us who are wrong yeah 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 maybe the whole church is yeah. wrong my friend who was much braver than i was who got caught i remember like one of the whatever they are what vice principal or i don't remember she was just like uh, whatever and then he was like well may i ask you have you ever tried it and she was like no i'm scared i'd like it too much and he was like i think you should maybe try it <laughs> while we're getting wow. suspended how long were you suspended for? I only you're still suspended, right? I'm still suspended. Yeah. I only got three days, which is psycho. And then they did because he he also he was so sweet, David Hashemi, who is now a high school teacher. But he got suspended for <laughs> ten days because he was like, "It's all mine." 
Oh. He like just took the ball out. Oh my god! Really sweet. Yeah. What kind of high school teacher do you think he's telling all the kids like, "Well, have you tried it? Were you yet? smoking? He did, yeah. Uh, he he. I know he was doing yearbook. I don't know if he's still doing that. Uh -huh. It's crazy when you watch content from even like ten years ago. How we like. The way that they talk about it, it's so crazy that we were yeah. like growing up watching shows where they were like it was the worst thing. It worked on me. It worked on me. Hook, line, and sinker. I was, I was in, I was in middle school. <laughs> yeah, I remember I was, I was in eighth grade, and someone. It, it ended at eighth grade, but someone who had gone on to high school came back, and he was, he went to the kid. He was weird, and he was like, he was like, I've been smoking weed, and I remember being like, and I remember feeling like I'm good, and I was like, no, that's not good. <laughs> Smoking weed is bad, and you should really stop. And I and I remember the feeling. It's funny when that I haven't felt since then of like I am righteous. Yeah, yeah. and I am and righteous. I am in the right. And and Never and this person right. is is bad. And I haven't felt that since. Yeah. yeah. And you look back, you look back, and I'm like, that I was the smoking. time to be smoking pot. I, know. I, had, I had nothing to do. Nothing I had no do. responsibilities. Why Finish would they your not do it? It's easy. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. I think about, especially because, like, even in America, we, we, with with pot being legalized, it's not like we're gonna let. We're we're a long way away from like, what if ten year olds could have a little pot once in a while, <laughs> okay, a little edible as a treat? As, as it, it must be okay, <laughs> probably. It's, it's especially really microdosed. Come sure, on. Yeah. marijuana Monday. It's yeah, cool. exactly. Ease I'm sure with it. babies, because there was the old thing with babies where you give them a little liquor. Yeah, you know, yeah. Their, teeth yeah. their teeth. Yeah. And then may maybe you give them a little, you give them a little puff right on their teeth. Why not? You're like French kids yeah. all, are always drinking wine. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Terrible tooth, a little MDMA on the gums. <laughs> 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 then we vibin. Then we vibin. Baby, be vibin. I I don't know if I'm gonna have kids, but th these are all things I'd have to figure out. Like, what would I tell when my? When do kid? you give them ecstasy? When do I give yeah, them yeah, what first what tablet? Age is right to have ecstasy. <laughs> their first shot of heroin. <laughs> I. Uh, Oh God! To explain to me how <laughs> church is camp. I feel like yeah. I don't. F I've uh, in all my years, I have never fully grasped what camp means. Well, oh, it is. It is elusive. Yeah, it's elusive. It is elusive. Sort of, okay, which so is sort of the me. point. I feel like people debate over what it means, even and there's and that's sort of I think the point of yeah, it. Yeah, because there is there is intentional camp and unintentional camp. Yeah. Would you define camp first? Why? Well, so you were in Titanic <laughs> for a year. What is camp? That's I, true. Oh, yeah. I don't. Feel You've lived it. I've lived it. You've lived. I don't feel like I'm. I would be. I mean, I you. I can see Titanic and be in it and be like, oh, this is camp. But I again, I don't know. But you know how to act camp, and I think that's a skill. But I, I, I I think it's like style too. Like I think some actors are really good at style. Uh huh. Like and, and different pieces are, and but no one talks about it. But like yeah. even if you're trying to like mumblecore, like fucking Greta Gerwig and Noah Baumbach, like that's a style. That's not like real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah. everyone's like, this is so realistic. It's like no, it's not. Nobody, no one, nobody talks like this. But they're very good at that style. It's like they maybe couldn't do camp, but maybe they could. Some actors are very, I think, good at. You can do Oscar Wilde, you can do Shakespeare, you can, and then you can do Neil Simon, and then you can, you know, like yeah. I guess now that you put it like that, I do feel like you're you're stylistically flexible. Yeah. Yeah, I'm joking. I well, oh, you're oh, you're joking. Oh. No, no, no! I said I'm jealous. <laughs> no, I didn't say I'm joking. Oh. I said I'm jealous. Oh, I was like, I was I'm like, well, joking, thank you. loser. Um, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> you can only do Titanic. Um, uh, um, but I feel like church feels camp. I mean, it's very serious, but they're yeah. in silly costumes. That's unintentional yeah. camp like, would yeah. be church. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I mean, I think the it manifests itself in different ways but i think the core of camp sometimes is a version of like acknowledging artifice like sort of like owning the thing you are whether you know it or not and like blowing it out and exaggerating it sometimes so sometimes people are doing that with awareness and sometimes you're like oh my god this is so bad it's good you know do you think church this is do you think church became camp because it's where maybe even closeted men they went to the church because there was an a presentational a element to it. Yeah. There was oh, a yeah. well, but the, but so the women are very camp too. Like yeah, exactly. Yeah, Especially yeah. in the South, these like yeah. big haired women. You know <laughs> sure. what I mean? And, and again, it's so much about like not you. It's like I'm serving a higher power, and yet there's tons of peacocking. You know, there's right. like homophobia, and yet it's all very flamboyant. Like there's yeah, all yeah, of yeah. these Catholic dualities that are like this is so yes, especially Catholic church. And then Southern church just has its own sort of version of it where. Again, you're like, it's so judgmental and yet so welcoming. It's like mm -hmm. very much like, oh, sweetie, you're going to hell. Like that sort of vibe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So camp, like to do two things at once sweetie, you're feels going very, to hell. you know? <laughs> it would be Bless fun. Ya. 
Bless, yeah, bless your heart. Bless your heart. That's the, that's the gossip. That's how you gossip in church. Like, bless her heart. Have you heard about, you know, Laura Marie? And it's always like, like uh, the worst thing you've ever her, heard. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bless she's her cheating heart. on her husband and she's a da 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 da. Bless her heart. I'm praying for her. I miss, I feel like there was a different time in the world where, like, your movie, the Catholic Church would have said, you're going to hell if you see this movie. And it would have been the yeah. best press <laughs> yeah. you could get. Yeah. But they don't even care anymore about movies. The yeah, they Church. don't. This they give up. They, they like streaming. They're, they're like with the media and landscape. Instead, it's so fractured that yeah. we can't possibly no. condemn any piece of media. No. <laughs> How dare we? And they don't want to speak out against SAG. Well, of course yeah. not. Union Strong, Francis. <laughs> sure. <laughs> What's that vote? Is that vote now? I don't know. December it's coming up. I, think. I, I owe a lot of money to SAG. I really, yeah, really I know. Well, it's good it's for from you. last year's when we actually oh. made money. Oh. It came over when my friend was over who's not in SAG, but he's in equity. He was like, how do you I owe like $500 or something? More, I think. Yeah. Even. And I was like, what the hell? I was like, I guess I'm really backed up on dues. And it's no, like, it's because they dues? build it like, on your, how much you made the year before. <laughs> yeah. And we did actually do acting last year. Good for us. <laughs> wow. Those were the days. Those were the days. <laughs> Um, Blue Bloods is coming to an end. That was my Saw first that. acting role. Wow. Blue Blood, Porter number two, Bloods. three episodes. What season wow. are you on? Wait, you were on multiple episodes of Three Blue episodes, Blood? yeah. As you had an arc. Reporter as number two. Reporter? Yeah, reporter number two. Three in a row, or you just pop in different just seasons? Just pop in. They, 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 they were constantly was torture. They would check my avails, torture. nothing. Check my avails, right. nothing. Check my avails, torture. And and uh, then you say, Mr. Blood, Mr. Blood, can you comment <laughs> on Blood? <laughs> Mr. Blood, <laughs> Mr. Blood, <laughs> Mr. Blood. Time right You can call me Blue. Uh no, and the first it's Mr. Bloods. Kid. <laughs> Get it right. Bloods. Yeah, blue what is that bloods. show about? It's copaganda, 100%, 1,000 uh, million percent. Blue, blue, and, blue. and I would have never accepted feel? it now. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But my reporter does. My reporter is asking the hard hitting questions. Speaks truth to power. That's awesome. and, to, and then wow. Tom Selleck <laughs> says, No, you're wrong. Oh, wow. no. And, and then yeah. music and it's credits. Yeah. And yeah. It's like yeah, Tom yeah, was yeah. right. Yeah. The police chief is right because yeah. he's handsome. He's handsome. No, that was the one. Where the first time it, it was like we just shouted lines as Tom walked away, and uh, it was me and one of the reporters. So I said the first line, and then she. Are you hung, <laughs> sir? Are you hung? <laughs> like again, you need to look at the script again. This idea. You're like, I got it, I got it. Why don't you stay with Monica? And <laughs> and she, I said my line. She messed up her line. Oh. At first take, and then they said, "All right, uh, let's just mouth it. We'll just mouth it." And uh, and I was like, "Oh my!" I. I immediately was about to get uh, dropped from co-star to extra because yeah. she fucked up the line once. That was oh. my first experience with like, Showbiz. oh, this is what, oh. yeah. this isn't what I did at acting school. No. It's mm -hmm. it's awful and uncomfortable. Yeah, and you are God. furniture, and the day needs to be made. Yes, yeah. yes, and 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 just the uh, the other extras were there, and it's like you could do this. Oh, oh yeah, yeah could, everybody. Can. I didn't need to audition for the and a no. callback. Are you fucking crazy? Oh, That's and a callback. Yeah, from uh, no, I, every oh. under five I've had, it's like audition and a callback, and you're like, really? Yeah. Like you didn't get me going. Excuse me, wasn't? It? <laughs> They're like, and now say it again. Okay, you got it, kid. <laughs> you really did it. But good. I mean, I met some people who did reporter. They did twelve episodes, wow. and they made ten grand a year in residuals just because they play blue bloods everywhere. Right. Yeah. So it was it was good blue to bloods. me. It was good yeah. to me. Good for you. Now the cancellation. Are we sure it's not a spinoff for Reporter Two? Do you have that confirmed yet? Because this could be good news. Uh, reporter Number Two. Yeah. He, he finally gets to the bomb. Are the cops not perfect? Would it be yellow bloods because it's like yellow journalism? Oh, yeah. Uh, sure. I wear yellow would be like or blue you're pins. a coward. Blue yeah, pins. but maybe it's yeah. going to be pro-cop still, anti-journalist. Yes, I see. I see. You realize the journal's just a yeah. sniveling coward. Yeah. And then the moment he's in trouble, he goes, "Please help!" And they yeah, go, yeah. "You see? see? Yeah, you not see. so they bad shoot after you all." In the head. Yeah, any cops. <laughs> shoot me yeah. on network TV. Be fun, more like more fun. <laughs> what you say, kid? And you give a thumbs up and credits. Have has anyone seen those robots that the NYPD yeah. has put? I haven't out seen there? them. I haven't seen them. They, I, oh, I you mean in, in the flesh? Yeah, I've seen online. pictures yeah, online. Just and pictures online. And it's apparently so they need funny. a person with it. It's the funniest thing they in the world. They had two engineers and two cops. It's the funniest thing in the world. Protecting the... So it's like... Because so in my mind, I was like... If it's they the, the funniest them, thing in the world. They just let them out. That's, I think... They're the, going to get destroyed. Like, people are going to, like, absolutely fuck them up, you know? Of course. But Throw them into the tracks. Yes. Absolutely. Is yes. the first thing that would happen. Yeah. I would do it. Yeah. <laughs> Kidding? Yeah. And then you you screw up the whole day, the yeah. MTA. Worth it. Don't you think? No. Oh, yeah. But what do they do? 
That's my question. Um, I don't know. I think they fully they feel like Mickey Mouse to me. Like they do feel like they're just little mascots, like Times Square. Cops. Maybe they like record, but also at the Times Square station. There's so many stairs. Is it a stair? That's my question. Like, Does it just live down you just there? Want, there's like three of them on the staircase, just like just like yeah, yeah, taking up track, like space. Like it must yeah. live down there. It's Phantom of the Opera, really. <laughs> they just live underground. Ooh. Wally, Growing not in their good. Boats. Wally of the Opera. Wally of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> I I'd be too scared to kick one. Well, there's but I'd love to everywhere. see it. I have a bad. I certainly know when I see MTA screens that are smashed, uh-huh. that were just playing ads. Yeah, there's a part of me that goes, "Good." Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. Yeah. Where was that money going? It didn't seem to be going to the trains. No. Good. No. Smash them. Beautiful screen, but to show me screen. Chanel. Yeah. It's a bad impulse. I don't know. I just I I I, I like the chaos. I want to see yeah. ten police dogs on their side. No, the, the, robot the robot dogs. ones, oh, not, robot. Oh, not oh the real god. ones. Oh my like, god! <laughs> you're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're like, like the police dogs are good. <laughs> no, I mean, but I would the police. They're, vic- the dogs, they're victims themselves. You are like they're now. Hostages. I'm definitely not having sex yeah. with you. <laughs> it's Joseph. <laughs> it's Joseph. Now that you've said sure. that, it's Joseph for sure. Joseph loves police dogs. <laughs> <laughs> um, which one you went to Boston Conservatory? Me. Yeah, that's how I met Douglas. Right, he's the class above me. I forget he's Boston Conservatory. Oh yeah. Yes. Um. So you. We, so Douglas. We is were in the Man Who Came to Dinner together. What play is that? That sounds uh, like, a, what like an they? Edward Albee play that Moses didn't make the cut. Kaufman and Hart. Kaufman and Hart. Like an old, like an old gem. Yeah. There's a musical. Mm-mm. No, it's a oh. play. But they wrote books for musicals too. Kaufman. I think. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah. Uh, was it good? I like the play. The director copied the. Nathan Lane production that was recorded for PBS. Like, oh. to, like exactly. And there was one gal who was very miscast in the Gene Smart role, and Gene Smart was very, very funny. And she would just literally like give her Gene Smart. I had watched that DVD a lot. So she would just give her Gene Smart's line readings. She'd be like, try this. I'd be like, that's literally oh. <laughs> like, the exact, like the exact line reading of Gene Smart. Wait, what does that play about again? A man comes to dinner. It's yeah. uh <laughs> it's like a, a like a bitchy, foppish uh like radio star of the time is like in Ohio to do some whatever and he breaks his leg so he's he's trapped with these fucking flyover losers oh, oh god <laughs> and then all these fabulous hollywood people come in and da, 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 and Wait, panic what's ensues the play about where there's a black like Careful. family no one is black in the man who came <laughs> to dinner well it's that's in the text is that guess who's coming to dinner <laughs> yes. yes yeah that's guess who's coming guess who, with well, they're closely named it's not yeah, that are. crazy guess who's coming to dinner the man and who then came what's dinner. the one where you have all the faces and you have to guess which face the other person has it's like uh-huh, a, uh-huh. what's that one yeah, guess, guess guess who guess yeah. who yeah. See, they're similar oh yeah. Yeah. oh yeah that was the remake with um, what's his name and what's that gene brand Yes. Oh, yes. God you. damn it, Russell. Okay. You just okay, fucking shut the fuck you dropped the goddamn <laughs> ball. <laughs> Clearly, that's where I'm going. Um, guess who, Mattel? Because we'll probably get a movie of it we real will. soon. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay, movies. What's, that would be so but what's good. the next? It's going to be, Polly Pocket seems to be the one that's like going to yeah. be made. And, and, that's one, and, the and then they're all going to go Jordan away. Jordan Peele is apparently doing Barney, or that no, was all Daniel fake? Daniel Kaluuya is, I think. Maybe Jordan Peele is too. I just remembered. I think it's Daniel. No, he's doing something else. The eight ball one? or Daniel's doing Barney. That could be a horror movie. And it's gonna be dark or whatever. Dark Barney. Dark no Barney. one knows what that means, but I I predict Polly Pocket will tank, and then they'll just yeah. drop this whole right now, insane yeah, right now they're idea. they're like on top of the world, and it's yeah. like let's. I don't Did know. Did you guys like Barbie? Yeah, I didn't even I haven't seen it fine. yet. I'm waiting for it to be on Delta Airlines. No, I saw wait, so, I saw so many it. bits on Twitter yeah. that I wasn't excited anymore. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, got, yeah, yeah, it got very yeah, yeah. mean. Way to we digest. saw the musical number before. Very so mean. It wasn't really, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You're cult. You get. You get it. You're culturally aware. Yeah. 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 I feel like it's gonna be too. I just feel like it's gonna be too clean. Like there won't be any crazy moment where. Barbie decides she's a lesbian at the end, and or mur- or like if, if right. they murdered if they murdered all the all the Ken dolls, then I'd be like, whoa, yeah. wow, yeah. that was a shocking. Yeah. You're right yeah. to not expect that. Yeah, it, yes. it is. <laughs> it does have the Mattel blessing. <laughs> <laughs> it's ultimate. Think of. I mean, it's a Marvel movie. You know what I mean? It's like yeah. very good for one of those types of movies. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. Don't That's compare good. it to Francis Ha. No. <laughs> compare it to you know the Avengers. Right. When you think about speaking of the downside, w- when you think about your comedic sensibilities, because mm-hmm. I Play feel the like theme there's, again. <laughs> <laughs> there's something so 
There is a huge swath of the population. I know this from trying to make incest jokes just in my own act. Sure. That they <laughs> premium tickets canceled left yeah. and right. <laughs> they will not enjoy that humor no matter what I know. it's so yeah. deep. I think one of the main jokes of our movie is that we're twins, but one of the main jokes is we don't look alike. It's literally so it's like, like the we're first clearly joke of the not movie is twins. We're not twins. Yes. And then we have twin sets and people are like, that is too far. It's like we are, are not first of all no one in a movie is related. And then but yeah. we are like we, uh, one of the main jokes is that we're not related. And then we have incest and people are like that was that was that's where you lost me. I'm like oh yeah. my God. And then, and then again even if it were intended to be realistic, which it's not the actual Sex is so the geometry makes no sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're like none of it's. I it's do think cartoons. it'd be less funny if it was like the Hemsworth brothers actually fucking. I agree. Up. You yeah. know, like it. It is funny because you're clearly not brothers. Right. Right. There's I agree. Like a, you're, that's like what I used to. It'd be a wild turn for their careers. <laughs> that would really. That would like Marvel would drop that motherfucker immediately. Imagine if you guys got to a meeting and they're like, well, "Actually, we're gonna replace you guys." <laughs> yeah. With, with the Hemsworth. Whatever. Yeah. Just the best one take. Film. Just you're sixty ninety sixty ninety. <laughs> that Hemsworth actually would brothers. be. Oh, that the would be so funny. The bodies turn very different. <laughs> <laughs> worse than ours is what I mean. Their worse bodies are worse than ours. Significantly worse than ours. <laughs> I I remember uh, when I was like younger watching, or, or there there was a there was a gum commercial where it was like two beers. It was like double mint, and it was like yeah. two beers, two baseball games, and twins. I forget what it was, but yeah. like yeah. the thing was, it was like two blonde twins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, I remember like at an age like fourteen or fifteen, where I was like, wait, you can't fuck. If you fuck both, if you, you have a threesome with the twins, yeah, and they're doing incest. The 90s loved that. So the idea yeah. was like, and twins would be like, well, you got to pick one though, and then leave yeah. the twin, hopefully yeah. in another yeah. room, right? Yeah. But, but hopefully. I think that's hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> or another state, hopefully. lock her in the Harry Potter <laughs> stairs. <Yeah>. Gosh, <laughs> maybe fly her first class to New York, give her a great weekend give while her you fuck lovely her dog. sister, so she's not getting <laughs> in Boston. <laughs> down you live. so good. <laughs> yeah, give her something to look forward to. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what's because people have that visceral reaction to that, yeah. and yet there's so much porn where like people are flirting with like, but they can't joke well, about it. So now we're really gonna go there. Straight incest and gay incest are very different too when we're talking about it. If you're actually gonna get real about it's it, taboo. It's like, what's the issue with Let's incest? Get... It's really about procreation, right? You, uh -huh. you make so a you make a bad baby. Two gay cousins are fooling around. What's who's her, getting hurt oh, here? Really? Oh, I see. <laughs> That's really, really the hottest take of all. Is that culturally these are very different, and we've lumped them together. <laughs> Interesting. Is is gay porn as into step step brothers? Bro I think so. Yeah. Because yeah. I know that in straight porn really is too, right? Oh, yes, but I I know that steps. in straight porn there is a different rate money wise if you are playing a stepmom or a mom mom. The rate is higher for mom. And you higher know for this mom because, because it's more of a, you taboo. know, it's more of a taboo. You know this because Reporter 2 was a stepmom <laughs> and you got the bump. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would be curious. I mean, it, there, there, what, what the difference is with, with gay porn and straight porn of like with that. With well, the, I'll tell you. It's yeah. about the genders of the people. <laughs> is that your question? <laughs> That's one of the big differences. Next question. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Joseph coming. <laughs> Ask Joseph. <laughs> Yeah. Well, he's sucking your cock. <laughs> ask him. Hey, buddy, what's or the difference? Or you oh. could, he could be sucking Joseph's <laughs> yes, cock and so could true. ask. So true. <laughs> Enunciate. When you think about your your movie output mm. <laughs> and the things that you want to make. Fast. The things, <laughs> yeah. the things that you want to make. Oh, God, hold on. I'm not done thinking about it. <laughs> yeah, so many movies. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> Do you ever do you ever ask yourself like oh your comedic the thing that you love comedically uh -huh. there's certain elements of it that <laughs> the the America will not respond to commercially in a way that is like that you'll be uh, uh, the Adam Sandler or whatever that yeah. is and do you ever think like oh no I I want to stick to my guns or do you think oh Next movie, no family members will have sex. I do think next or movie, no family members will have sex. Yeah, but you heard it here first. I but, think uh, you're very stick to your guns, but I do think this movie, for a variety of reasons, was very specific, very yeah. stylized, and very raunchy in a way that some of our other things are not. And that's not because we're like, want to back off. It's just like, it also, it's the virtue of it being based on the stage show. Like, yeah. it had to be true to the DNA of something we did in the basement as 24 year olds. You know what I mean? That's what's crazy. So, yeah. so I think that it always had that, which I still like love and stand behind, but I think it's not like the only thing we want to do. Right. But I don't think there's any, I think it will be hard R, you know? But sure, and sure. And I do think, I, whatever, but I think we're gay, so we're, ne we're never going to be Adam Sandler. 
Sure, yeah. that's true. It's, you just Although at the same time, we've talked about how it's like life is long. It's like I do want to write a Pixar movie one day. Like there's other things that I, I want to be president make... of the United States right. of America. Exactly. Wow. So <laughs> what? <laughs> wow. Okay. So so uh, Hasbro is that the company of Barbie? Is that Mattel. 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 You're gonna want to Mattel picks a toy. Write that, write that down. down before the general. <laughs> you're gonna get walked out, laughed out of the room when you're pitching on um, Hasbro, apples yeah. to apples. <laughs> what what property Mattel property are you like? Oh, I'm gonna make. Well, if you guess do. who I was thinking, because I, I can't stop thinking of ideas. I love ideas. <laughs> when I was thinking, guess who, if that was a Mattel, which I have no idea if it is, I was like, well, what is the game? Because you're trying to write in guess who, you're trying to guess like, the last person. Well, you you each have, it's like, you each, you each have, have a person. And you, you say, guess, like, so, does your person have glasses? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, person, I think it is would your have person to, Jewish? In my, is your person Jewish? Is yeah. your person a stepmom? I would have to make a... I, in my head, I instantly was like, "Who?" Because you wouldn't have like two people guessing. It would be like, it'd be a murder mystery, and whoever was it was thinking. would just be killing all of them. Because you know, you you flip, oh, yeah, <laughs> you yeah, flip yeah, the yeah. tile down, it's like shoot them right in the fucking oh, face. Oh, or it's a, a bye, Bill. Or it's a really dark. It's about a police lineup, and it's about like um the you know uh, eyewitness testimony and how it's yeah. invaluable, and you know, <laughs> so could be really our, that's political and yeah. about the justice system. Sure, sure. That's our, like, really, gritty. someone gets someone wrong in a lineup, and they're wrongfully incarcerated for years. Mm -hmm. Guess who? You know, and it's like who? that could be really good. Knock knock. And the only clue yeah, the cops was, had was he who? didn't have a mustache. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. exactly. He wasn't bald. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I uh, I forget what I was gonna say. I think we said we'll just, so much. We'll just sit <laughs> silent. We'll just sit <laughs> That's always my fear. I'm just like, I'm like, what if we hit Let's a silence see. for five oh, minutes? This is the downside. It says. <laughs> Maybe that's what you were gonna say. Shut the fuck. <laughs> what else is on there? It's gonna be um, Boston Conservatory. But did you have? But did you have people that were okay? So I don't know how much you could talk about going from Fox to A24. Like, oh, how yeah. did that? That was really e like Fox. W it our pr our production company gates. had a very good deal with Fox, uh, for, and uh, basically, it's like they'll pay you to write it; they'll never make it, and then that is what happened. Oh, uh, yeah. okay, cool. So they were very kind in paying us to write it, and then also kind in sort of reading it and being like, "We'll never make this," because I do think there's a version where they could have like tried to turn it into a Fox movie, and yeah. we could have gotten just like, and they truly sort of were like, "We're gonna just pay this out and give it back to you. This is never gonna get made by us." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. So, so it was like a, that already was a long con. Would the Fox version be? They'd find out they weren't twins, and then they'd fuck. I think it would be like it. It, it would like barely be gay. It would be a lot more like the Parent Trap. Like it would just it would just be the realistic part of the first part where your business yeah. guys would yeah, 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 yeah. sleep without women. Also, too, it'd yeah, probably yeah, be like a big like, like yeah. you know. And not that our movie isn't broad; it's very broad, but it would probably be less specific. How, how much the, time between? Sorry, no, um, how much time between finding out that Fox wasn't going to go that, and then eight twenty four? That took Years, a while really. because uh, we we were on a TV show and then also A24 was into it, but it took a long time for like the head of a production company and the head of A24 to meet and be like, yes, let's do it. I but feel like it was like, like forever. two years between like Fox deal being done and then A24 being interested, but then like interested to like really happening took a while because of, you know, lawyers Hollywood and such. And, and lawyers, Hollywood and Hollywood, yeah. Yeah. But you must have thought it was dead at some point. It was I, always... I, I, we, even now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> even yeah, yeah. Now. <laughs> it was always like, oh... But our, our producer, Corey Adelson, was, uh, she did... Like, she was in contact with us even when it would be, like, dead enough that it's like, she still wants to make it. You know, like, I never felt like she gave up on no. it. And if she had, it would it would, it would have been, that's when I would have been. If you sent her a message or something, she'd respond very quickly. You know uh -huh. how it is sometimes. Yeah, it's yeah, like yeah. when you're dating or something, you're like, oh, they're not really replying. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. she was uh, she was always replying. It's like, okay, she's still into me. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> So, like, I, it was, it, it, hope never fully died. But often we were like, I don't know. Yeah. But it, she was, yeah. like, she was still... Dogged. Yeah, she yeah. was dogged, and it felt like... And it always was like her baby, too. So I feel like right, we always right. felt like with her that she was very invested. And so we always were like, we're going to find a way to get this made, yeah. even if it literally takes forever. Yeah. Like, yeah. even if we have to, like, get famous doing other shit and then return to it, we were like, we're going to get it made. She And, and then getting Megan Mullally and Nathan Lane on board, how was Wildly that? just asked them, and they said yes. Sent script. It's and like, it, truly. And, they were like, and then there was a video of the stage show, so I think that helped, like, oh, understand okay. tone. Cool. Yeah, very good for tone, because otherwise... We famously had a DP who we loved, who was a lesbian, who read the script and was like, "This is fucking awful and offensive." And it was like, "You know, it's gay guys playing straight." And then read it again, and was like, "Okay, I, love I get it." it. <laughs> well, I mean, she truly was just like, "What?" I the gotta fuck? say, maybe your movie isn't made for lesbians because that's two lesbians <laughs> yeah. now who have had she a visceral negative reaction <laughs> yes. to the content. Maybe the lesbians didn't know we were gay. 
<laughs> yeah, maybe the lesbian. Sure, okay. sure, sure. I missed the first yeah. t- ten yeah. seconds when we fully yeah. said it. Yeah. yeah, came in a little late. To be more like a lesbian, who they announce themselves a lot. I am a lesbian. I, in all caps. Uh, yeah, she's yeah. she's coming in late. Sorry to be late again. I'm a lesbian. I'm a lesbian. <laughs> Excuse me. Love these down pants, the aisle. by the way. <laughs> Thank you. Was. Was it into, was uh, uh, working with Megan Thee Stallion? I feel like I'd be intimidated in that moment to be in a musical number. I was yeah, really but. nervous. With, like I was very nervous when we like sat down with her and Larry, the director, to like let's read through your scene. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. But then she was so she really was so nice. And then the first day of with her and the first day of shooting in the whole movie was her big number, yeah. which to be fair, we're like hardly in. So it, it meant our first day of shooting was you were sort of just watching a Megan Thee Stallion music video, yeah. where occasionally they're like, and then cut to you going like this. Oh my gosh. You know what I mean? So it's like, it was a nice warm up to just be like, she's fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that did. And we did have to do a scene with her that day, but. Yeah, but it was short and yeah, it was short. easy. Yeah, uh, Because that rap was so good. I, th- I, had, I had thought that she had helped write it or. Because it felt just in. Wildly. Her no. It was void. Yeah, and Joshy. Yeah. <laughs> and wow. Mary. We just and wrote Carl. it in her voice. And she would like change little like words, but we, we thought it would be more of a rewrite. We were like, here's our version of a Magnus Stallion song. And it speaks to her. I think that she was just like, I want to do what y'all want to do. Yeah, and yeah. we did do like her and get it enough to be like, this is like. Right. It wasn't yeah, like, yeah, like yeah, the yeah. dancers did. Well, like the dancers choreographed it. We're like, I know she can drop into a split, so I'm doing it. So I feel like we had the same thing of like, I know what type of flow she's capable of. So let's sure. like write something. That she could do, yeah. You know, do a split. I wish I could do. Have you, can you do a split? What do you think? Jimmy? I know. I think yes. Have, have you ever been ever been able to do a split? Yeah. No. no. I used to in musical theater school. I would like watch a TV show and like hold, you know, my version yeah. of a split desperately. It takes it. That takes a long time. <sighs> I'm very flexible, but not hamstrings. That's your split. I just want to be a dancer. I know. Wouldn't I know. So? You know who, who who's on us? Who's a musical guest on SNL? Oh yeah. What's Saturday? her name? She's she, taking. She's Kate. one of these people um, where I'm like, yes, who is yes, this? Yes, oh, they're yes, an yes. established we pop star. Oh, no, there's her. 17 McKay? billion people. McCray. Yeah, McCray. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, Tate shoot. McCray? I can't believe I'm spacing. Tate, Tate is not Tate. it. Tate. 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 Tate is the Tate. name. I've been McCray. saying Tate for hours. <laughs> <laughs> not Andrew. Is this thing on? <laughs> uh, but I just watched her dance and I was just like, I, there's a f- I I'm like, oh, I want to be able to do that. I remember in At the Boss Conservatory. Ding, ding, ding. I, I was, uh, me and this other guy playing parts in a musical, being meaning we didn't dance. We're like standing in the back watching all the dancers. And I said to him, I wish I could dance. He goes, but then we wouldn't get to watch. And that's a beautiful philosophy. Oh. <laughs> all right, I'll try to take that. Then we wouldn't get to watch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then you wouldn't get to watch it. <laughs> yeah, you'd just be doing it and everyone would be watching you. Well, your sister's a dancer. A yeah, that doesn't like, it's not like doesn't make it. Well, no good for her. Yeah, watch your sister. Yeah, watch your yeah. sister. Why don't you watch your sister. your sister? She's touring with Carol G, and and that's they're, 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 she's, Carol G. Do you know Carol G? No. Tate McFay. <laughs> Tate McFay. Carol G. No, Carol G. Uh, uh, she's she's uh, she sings in Spanish, but she what? did. She did. So I I don't. But she, they're touring. So your Columbia. sister has to dance in Spanish too. Uh huh. Wow. Uh huh. Wow. It's it's very fast. I'm like, wow, my sister's tan is getting a little strong. I don't know what you're trying to pull here, but uh, she's booked it and it's going well. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, Reporter number two is black, right? <laughs> <laughs> Originally, 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 they they, originally. they couldn't find it. They they <laughs> they want him to be Jewish. Let's go on to our next segment. This has got to stop. This has got to stop. Uh, do you have a this has got to stop? Oh yeah, I, yeah. I think we, I have one. Okay, you go but first. Wait, we'll I'll go it's, around. I, is there a format to how it is done? No. This is you like just a go. This has got to stop. Say clock. a thing, and then we'll talk. No, 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 no. no. This has got to stop. I mean, the broader thing would be, of course, be this. You know, like the blight of the weed bodegas that we have going on right yes. now. Yes. And that's hack. But I'm going to be specific and say the amount of floss, uh, fluorescent lights in them. Mm. Like they're so harshly lit, and I'm like, what about weed makes you think yeah. this is the vibe I want? You uh-huh. know what I mean? I mean, they're all a blight. Clearly, they're, yeah. they're all. They all feel like. What I would have wanted in high school mm. if, le- if we'd have been legalized, like when I was sixteen, and I'd Maybe be like, "That's it." Is that this I'm one like, on the corners, like there, Zaza, and it's the, yeah, like, yeah. "Call yeah. the kids in, get the youth in." Maybe that's it, and maybe I want a little. And I feel like we're in yeah, a growing pains want? era. We don't have a like little more coffee the, shop. We don't have. I want like, a little more of the yeah. LA of it all, where there's yeah. some that are like, "This is for adults." Come oh, in and yeah. talk yeah. to yeah. the expert. The vibes are the vibes are mellow. They again, it's like I do want a little bit. Some of them in LA feel a little. I think a, like because they went too far away from the like hippy dippy, and it's like very like um, this is like a laboratory, and I don't yeah. like that because like I'm like Mad, I hate Mad yeah. Mad Men is very or much like Apple this store. is like a Warby Apple Parker, store. Just like, yeah, 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 yeah. You yeah. Know, that's a, that it's all aesthetic. white and very. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, I, I want wood. Yeah, I, want wood. I just want like, like, 
But my point, I, I was in I vibes. Amsterdam weed. last yeah. week, and, and it, the thing that we don't have yeah. is doing it indoors and like yeah. having a nice place right. where we can also have a that meal. Takes share with more. Joint. I think there's something with the law there. Well, you can't even you can't smoke nothing indoors in this town. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know they're probably working on that. Because that would be fun to have yeah, a little. Probably someone's probably working. Someone's probably. probably someone's I'll call my senator is. tonight for the first time ever. Yes, yes. Yeah. Let's let's call Senator <laughs> Schumer and say, I know you got some other things on your plate right now, but let's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's deal with this. Yeah. What do you mean ceasefire? <laughs> <laughs> uh, he brings oh, I it can't up. wait to tell you something that once we're done recording. Um, <laughs> uh, do you have a this got to stop? I do. Uh, I gotta look up mine. Well, I have to, I have to be vague, but um, we've kind of touched on this in the topic before, but I have to be a little vague, more vague than I'd like to be. Oh, great. But, um, okay. Well, that's got to stop. This has got to stop. <laughs> be specific. Um, vague um, race. It, there's too many times in the entertainment world uh-huh. where we are having politicians come and be a part of our things. Uh-huh. I hate that. And on our TV shows, on our Broadway stages, on our things – and it, it's blurring the lines. People then treat them yeah. like they're fun and they're thi- and, and the, no. they're, they're stars and they're no. things. And it's and then when you do say something to them in person and they're like, "Hey, why aren't you doing this?" They're like, "You can't talk to me here." Yeah. Why well, actually, not? your whole job. Actually, is not why not? Why can't I talk to you? My, here? my hot take. I I think no one should. Uh, people wear shirts that say who uh, right or left. You know. Yes. Trump. Biden, Bernie, yes. Hillary. I'm like that. They're not a fucking band. No, they're not a band. That's a guy that you want to fucking make sure that you know you and have a house. It gets confusing to people they when we like invite that. them onto our things and we're like buddy buddy and we're like playing with them. It's similar to when we have when we hire real newscasters in movies, which is weird. I think it's because weird. then yeah. you're like that's not that we you're should be getting our news from my them. job. Like, Furthermore, so, I have no sympathy for when they're like mad about getting interrupted at dinner. I'm no, like, I'm like no. you weren't conscripted and quit. Being a senator. Yeah. And quit. You should not quit. want to do this job quit. for thirty fucking years. Right. Yeah. It's not a job for if thirty years. Yes. Because the longer you're in it, the more fucking corrupt you are by all the different people you've made deals with exactly you should not want to have this job yeah you should you should need to You're do it public servant exactly public yes. servant exactly and you would sh- you shouldn't want to be a servant for, for exactly. that long yeah i and but, order takeout. Order takeout. And, order but, take and we out. have them on our shows and things. You're not getting it. You're not running it by everyone too. So people oh, yeah. are and forced. Then comes an endorsement. People are forced to yeah, be yeah, yeah. to be a part of an endorsement that you yeah. don't want to be a part of. Yeah, yeah, and it's yeah. really shitty. And it's really gross. And um, I, especially in times right now where there's really horrible things happening in the world. Yeah. And to just kind of nonchalantly throw someone onto something feels. Well, really I think gross. that's what has shaken. Uh, uh, what what's going on with with Israel and Palestine has shaken it up to a degree of of people. When Trump was there and with Obama, I feel like liberals in the entertainment industry were like, we're all on the same page. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And <clears throat> and I remember when um, when Obama did Funny or did, did uh, Between Two Ferns. Right, right, yeah. right. I had a friend uh, who said, I don't like this. And I remember at the time, I was like. You know, younger. I was like, well, that's the good guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and the, you know, he's encouraging people to vote. But it's in those moments that now I think we, we all, like, coalesced in a way that now everyone assumes, oh, we're all on the same page. Oh, we all right. want we all, we, we all would want We all would want uh, uh, Elizabeth Warren to be on the show. Right, right. Yeah. And I don't – and it's, it is it – is, I don't know what you what to do about it because it feels so deep, and I feel like this moment yeah. with with what's going on with Israel and Palestine is the moment where people are going to start butting heads and realizing we disagree on certain things, even yeah. amongst our side. Yeah. Yes, yes, and that just be that you can be <laughs> you can all be pro choice, but still this, or you can all be pro LGBT and still right. viscerally agree about foreign policy. Right. Yeah. I think like a politician can be on television interviewed in a news yeah. situation, oh, yeah. oh, but yeah. not like on like, when they're on SNL or something. Yeah. Yeah, and I feel like you know, SNL hasn't kind of done it in a while. They got kind of, kind of like, in trouble they, for Trump. They, but, but like, <laughs> but like, I think I think there is. What do something. you mean SNL has? They had Elon Musk. Fucking, I mean, no, okay. No, uh, I'm not uh, the richest person in the world shouldn't want to go on the satire show because he will yeah. be so fucking humiliated. Yeah. Yeah. Humiliated. No, I agree. I agree. I agree. I'm and just, they just had <laughs> Timmy Chalamet. Right. Who's my assembly my Timmy Chalamet. Timmy Chalamet. He owns, yeah. Yeah. He owns a whole chain of chocolate stores that's enslaving people. Uh, are you okay? Oh, your headphones. Oh, just um, <laughs> you were adjusting the wrong thing for your headphones. Oh, okay. Well, I hate being this. Um, <laughs> being this. I being hate this. being this. It's like it's you're like so, I, you're I, in Lotus, <laughs> though. Very zen. Uh, <laughs> when you did when you did a Jordan Klepper show, because mm. that again, like I don't. Sometimes I look at those shows and I don't know. 
how I feel about them anymore because I'm like, well, was, this blurs the line so much. It was yeah, hard. That, those were hard. They, it's fine for me to do like a, a like a political like a desk piece. It's like I don't care. But when you have to like go places, yeah, and like e- even be mean to people that I'm like I I don't like what you stand for. I, that that's where I get very southern. Where I'm like, well, that's impolite. I know. Yeah. <laughs> like, no, it's hard. I, I don't want to do that. Yeah. Um, so the, was those, there one that was really like you're like fuck? Had to go to a Trump is... rally, and it was just so dark, and not even in a fun way. You know, it's just like this is just bleak. We're not Sad, like yeah. We like to do the ones that where you um they're called friendlies. Where like sometimes you interview a friendly and sometimes you interview I don't know what the foes were called, but like uh, but a friendly is like fascist. Like if you're doing one, like, we did one on global warming and everyone we interviewed was a friendly and, and like then and then we the are the idiots and yes. like we loved doing those. Like that was because yeah. you're or like or we loved the ones where you went at your own side. We would do these ones where we would like make fun of liberal Hollywood yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like fun when you got to like either fun. go at your own yeah. side or but it's, uh, you're like, yeah. It's yeah, yeah. so weird at a Trump rally, like talking to a nice woman and just trying to make her look like a fool. I was like, woo, yeah. this is hard. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it also just was not our comedic it's sensibility dark. either. It's Although we had a lot of fun on it. That was just a piece oh, where I was, was like, a great job, yeah. But yeah. I'm not good at this. <clears throat> yeah. Sure. But it's those kinds of shows where I do think it's hard to know like, w- should the Daily Show have on politicians? And I'm like, well, if you are, then you need to be fully newsy in this moment, because yeah. or at least aspire to be John Stewart and be like, I'm gonna try to really go at you. Yeah, you know, like yeah. I'm gonna put you on the hook for things. But even then, like his and version, I agree, it's still gray. But I would love for the Tonight Show to just have like a no politician policy. Yeah. It's just yeah. unless you're a skilled. I mean, even, but even the news has become that too. Oh so yeah. I know. I, yeah. Especially on the national level, because I also think we just like have made them fully figureheads, and then also now people are not even invested in local politics, which no. is like the only shit that actually really matters to right, you in your yeah. life. So I'm like, I wish you would have some weird, you know, like state assembly woman I've never heard of on Colbert. Of let course, them, like, yeah. like that, I'd be like, maybe use it to sure. platform people who could like speak on local issues. But, but that would never happen. Of course. I ultimately think it's, it's like a show. politician. A politician should go. Oh, I don't want to be on camera with the comedian oh because the God. comedian yeah. should. I think in theory, my idea of what comedy is is like the comedian should be poking hole at the pot. Like exactly. the politician should go. No, no, no. I would never do that show. Yeah, right. yeah. If they want to do it, then when what the fuck is wrong with yeah. what you're making? Yeah. So, yes. Yes. And yeah, you kept it real vague. No one can connect no one the dots together. <laughs> we recorded this. Uh, <laughs> I can't um, believe they cast Trump and Titanic. <laughs> I know. <laughs> So it's funny. We're, we're, n- we're, not, we're not that far. We're not. That's love. not that far. Trump is is funny. He's, is funny. <laughs> he crushes <laughs> Victor Listen, Garber. That's, that's 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 Trump funny. is Victor Garber. That is the thing about him. Come on, he producer Tova. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> He can maybe, if Tova he, signed Trump just out of the... <laughs> <laughs> She's like, that's my type. That's my style. <laughs> I was wrong before, actually. This is my type. Trump's my type. <laughs> Old. Um, do you have a This Has Gotta Stop? I do. Mine is, uh, uh, mine is kind of... Okay, well, I'll just say. Uh, this Has Gotta Stop when someone makes like a hobby their personality. I'll give a specific example. On Instagram, when someone is like plant daddy, you know, and uh, it's like you just like plants, uh-huh. and that that's amazing. But th- this can't be your whole. <laughs> this is, this is plant insane. Plant daddy. <laughs> or you know, uh, Jim plant step daddy. If you want more money, <laughs> <laughs> a little less money, uh, a little less money. You know what I mean? Or if someone is like Jim. Jim is another yeah. example, but then even people like um, I guess it goes to like a hot topic type of person, like Jack Skellington, and they have like a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas stuff, and it's like this is this is who you are. Like, there's definitely people who are like Halloween is my month. Yeah, yeah like Halloween's really my are thing. Prominent on social media in that month, I think Halloween. I think people should they should realize that they contain multitudes, and while they can love plants, that's mm. not all they are. It's the Disney adult thing. <laughs> it's a Disney it's adult a, thing. I was not sure. That. But I feel it's bad. It's all down people Disney and you adult. go like, you go, at it's, least it's this and not guns. Yes. 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 <laughs> yes. At least some of them is not either incest. Disney or guns. <laughs> it's, it's either Disney or guns. That's the only two things Those you can be into two. as an adult. But there, I did see this one person. They had a tattoo. It was the Blue Lives Matter flag in a Mickey Mouse. Yeah. Oh, there's a, I love the, I love the specific Disney adult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They contain multitudes. There you go. And Israel Palestine. Palestine has brought this up that <laughs> even amongst Disney adults, they don't all agree. You know, that's what we're finding. Uh, and I, maybe it just comes from you're like you're only seeing it on Instagram or something. It's like someone, everyone feels the need to like brand themselves. But, right. it, but I'm talking about even in conversation when someone won't like stop talking about 
like the gym or something. It's like you you got more going on in there. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. It's gotta stop, don't you think? <laughs> I, I agree. <laughs> People contain multitudes. Um. Well, as it's everyone knows, list. I'm kind of a yoga daddy, and I'm on the road doing yoga a lot. Yeah. Yoga daddy. Um, Aaron's yoga big daddy yogi too. So. Sometimes I, I sometimes I say I don't want to go do the chains. You know, I don't want to do the core power yoga. Sure. sure. Uh, and so I'm like, so Let me hot. I yeah. <laughs> it's not Bikram though. No. Bikram yeah. still. It's hot. That's hot. But so I'll go do a local class. I'm do this. And sometimes yeah, you don't ever. I love uh, limbs. Uh, you got to embrace the lanky. You got the lanky back. Embrace Make it a compliment. I'm bringing lanky back. Yeah, hey. Hey. that would have been a good parody 15 years ago. I could have yeah. done. Or 15 great now. years from I'll now. Do it now. Fun. It's timeless. I'll get a promo. <laughs> My God, you you mentioned uh, Halloween Jack Skeleton. We had a talk friend. about Lanky. We had, we yeah. Hello, we, Lanky hello. King. He's original <laughs> Lank. OG had, Lank. This is mean, but he'll never hear it. We we had Jack someone Skeleton we knew. won't hear it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a, God. A, a friend he made. Oh, my God. He made a lot of money. He got he like fell into some commercials. So he was like thinking about you know he's going to start filming things, and he filmed like a. Kind of absurdly expensive but low budget, just a recreation of Jack Skeleton singing Christmas Time. Sure. What's the song? No, uh, 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 no, it's the Halloween. Christmas uh, Town. Yeah, okay. Christmas Town. Yes. Oh, what's what's this? Oh, what's, what's this? this? That's why I think so. And yeah. okay, amazing song. No, but he also so he also did Monster Mash. Oh, Monster Mash as Jack Both Skellington. The, he did as the, Jack Skellington. Um, Wait, no. so he was he in so full, full, like, full, yes, full, and, and that looked good. Okay. Uh, well, again, here's like the thing. here's the thing about the Jack Skellington one. Sure, he released it. He he in, got behind in the editing in end of January. <laughs> so he at the end of January said, "Hey, I, so I didn't get around missed. to this, so releasing it now." You gotta wait. And you gotta wait. That's you gotta, gotta hold. Wait. You gotta wait. Every yeah, year, you gotta, you gotta wait. wait. You gotta, you gotta wait. wait. When we saw he released it, <laughs> the end of January, <laughs> the worst I month. Was like, really? Wow, he really got behind. <laughs> and it was very highly produced. Yeah, <laughs> there was a lot put into it. Anyways, don't look it up. <laughs> don't look it look up. it up. If it gets <laughs> if it gets twenty new views, he'll be like, "Whoa, what's whoa, going on?" on? Every sister of the Christmas downside Christmas checked Christmas it out. This <laughs> put the link in the description page. Oh my um, God. Wow. Okay, so I, this uh, this is gonna come off as bitchy, but but so I, I I pick a local class, and sometimes this happened to me yesterday, where like I got there, and it was like. They said it was level three, and I was like, "Okay, let's that's go. your level. Let's get a sweat. Yeah. That's my level." <laughs> and the teacher was like, "Okay, um, with Thanksgiving coming up, um, there is a, a, a Native American philosopher who uh, wrote this speech for Thanksgiving that people haven't adopted because we're all colonizers. And uh, between each pose, I'm going to take a break and read a passage uh, from this thing. And and again, so you're relaxed." <laughs> You're getting more and more relaxed. <laughs> Thinking about <laughs> colonization, every vinyasa, and it was it was just one of those things where I was like, I want to be like, I I agree with you, but can we just can we just do the can yeah. we just do the fucking yoga? J just us doing yoga in and of itself is we're, we're colonizing that level yoga. four or five. <laughs> like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's just it's a very you know it's what chakra do both at oh. once. And I just there's every once in a while I get a yoga teacher where I'm like. Go do an open mic. That's what you want to oh, do. I know. That's not. It that's not really what this is. Bad. And 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 they're, or they'll talk about astrology so much, and I want to be like, mm. please, this you you. I'd rather you talk about Jesus Christ. It feels like the same thing. Yeah. You're just telling me something that I don't yeah. believe in. Yeah. And uh, just give me the fucking. Just give me the moves. 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 Lizard. Yeah. Um, Josh, Josh took a yoga class with me and actually loved this teacher. But what was she, she on? Bipeds? She was, oh, yeah. One time she kept talking she about bipeds. Really? On, she had just read an article, you know, uh -huh. like, uh -huh. where she was like, well, we're bipeds. So. As bipeds, you might find that this uh -huh. moves, uh -huh. you know. But she said bipeds like 15 times yeah. in an hour. So you're like, what's going on? <laughs> Yeah. Like it, just, it was like you're in a pose. You're like, I, I can't. I'm, I'm really focusing on the bipad. You big yo yoga, yoga daddies. I'm a yoga. Aaron's daddy. a big yoga daddy. Yeah, I, I enjoy it. yoga, but I wouldn't dare call myself a daddy. No. I just realized right. that you're wearing this shirt. I didn't even see it until oh. now. Oh, Titanic. Wow. Yeah. I'm making a visual joke. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what the joke really is. I've been is. saying Titanic oh, for hours. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm saying the shirt should That's talk. You guys. I don't quite How many times have you seen Titanic? We, We've seen it every iteration. We saw the wow. first LA like shit. concert reading. Yeah. And we, we saw the and then a reading readings here. here. And then and we watched the streaming during COVID. And then wow. we, are, we are heads. Rank your uh, Rose's moms. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. I only remember the original. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
I saw Stephen Garino, very funny guy. He was. Yes. Really uh, funny. He's so good. I we need to go back to see Drogi. I know. Oh, he's, yeah. he's out soon. I think. I think, he, I think he's in it through the end of the year. Maybe. Uh, okay. 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 Year. Is that the video that That's I what saw? He once told me. It was yeah, surreal. Drew, it was Drew, surreal to see someone else doing Drew, it. Yeah, yeah, like, Drew's felt like a violation. Yeah. I gotta go see it. I've never seen it. I've, did you do I'm, the whole New York? Like, did you start New York? No, I no, didn't. didn't. Someone else did it at Asylum. Yeah. Oh, Who did right. it? I remember uh, he had curly Ryan, hair. Ryan. Uh, yeah, he was very he was funny too. too. They've all I, been good. I uh, came in when they did to. Well, the part plays wrong. itself, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you weren't even acting. Dog could do it. Please, dog. A final segment. Your that blessing. What was that? Wait, does, is there a third cue that Douglas did that that's we didn't my, use? That's my friend Douglas Goodhart. I don't know if it's programmed in here. No, but, but there was one other thing segment that we never used, right? Yeah, I don't think it's in the board what was right it now. Called, though? Uh, it was, I've yeah. got some bad, bad news. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I want to say Douglas played the lead in Man Who Came to Dinner and was wonderful. Wow. And he did not need line readings from the director. He, no, he wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were having drinks with Douglas, and we said that you were coming in, and Russell was like, "Come on the episode." And I was like, yeah. "I only have four mics." And I was like, "I, I was like, like, he well, just invited we'll him." And I was like, "I was like, what the I fuck like, are we'll you doing? I don't have any more mic. wires." We'll Maybe we'll, we'll, we'll get a lob. <laughs> we're throwing a fifth mic. And, then, and he was like, "Really? Like hesitant?" I was like, "No, let him come on. Come on, we'll get a it." It was mic. Cr- it was crazy. You'll buy a, you'll buy a I was Mike. Like, I was blown away. Josh is sort of meeting him. I'm told I don't get a mic. I'm told to just scrabble like, when I have something to say. Yeah. Well, I think Doug and I were in a lot of stuff together because we did like the play. Oh, we always did the plays. Just so you know, Douglas. Douglas, sorry. Oh my God, no. dead named him. You. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's so funny for Douglas. Uh, but uh, we did. I love. I love the full. Uh, I love that with all boys feel like they have to like Michael instead of Mike, mm. David instead of Dave, mm. I lo- uh, Douglas instead of I love, but mm-hmm. people don't, it's, uh, is there something like, um, mask, like people don't like, it. it's like, it's like gay to say the long name. Mm. I feel like in Texas, that's, it's, it's a gay. I, no, that's what uh, I don't think it is. I'm like, sure. why is it gay oh, to I be see. David? But, but it's like, like you, you why be are you like, gay? Sorry, but yours is pretty long. So <laughs> yeah. watch out. You don't might know. be gay. <laughs> don't know. John Marco. John? Yeah. yeah. But pe- people Maybe are like, oh, or John. Like, <laughs> it's very American. It's like, what are you putting on airs? You think you're French or something? Yeah. Calling yourself David? Well, you went by Gianni, right? My dad calls me Gianni. Gianni. And then Tova does, but that's it. Like, I, I went by G. I was it was a goth at the beginning of high school, and I went by a G. Goth. A goth. Wow. Hot you, daddy. A hot topic goth. Daddy. A goth. goth daddy. A, go, a, a goth daddy. Wow. A hot topic daddy. Um, I'm trying to see it. I want pictures of this. I uh, uh, go T. Pictures of you as go, a goth I, doing Tevia. <laughs> sure. <laughs> sure. I, what happened is I, I went to, I went to a summer camp. There there was a, a slippery slope. Yeah. Yeah. I was on like a party. I was trying to like, you know, kiss somebody. And, and there's, there was these two goth, this goth guy, goth girl. And the goth guy was like, you should kiss him. And she was like, OK. And I was like, that's how goth you were works. goth without any of like the culture of goth. Like you were not. Yeah. Like, I was totally. They, to they, they were doing ice and salt, salt not, and ice. Like, you know what I mean? That's where you, you give yourself a scar. Oh, you yeah. put salt and ice yeah, and salt yeah, yeah. and ice. Oh, and I was hot. like, I was like, oh, that sounds like it hurts. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I was, I was, I was, I was going to be a theater. It was going to be a theater. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there's you a little bit of a crossover. You wanted goth to get laid, yeah. which is I think like such a low priority for most goths. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I'm realizing now my this has got to stop too. It's like that feels very child where you're like this is my whole personality but that is part of growing yeah. like you have to be like i love this this is me and then you change and you and but like when adults do it it's it's eerie yeah when they do goth or no, any when they personality just, like, thing. thing like to be like their you whole know thing. if a For little sure. kid is like i love plants and they know like ten thousand facts about you're like this is darling and and next year you won't quit you know like yeah <laughs> you'll be honest with something else let me tell you that much but when an adult does it it's like stop <laughs> I'm going to keep going back to me. <laughs> Adults need to stop having interests. <laughs> Just making it their only thing. I know. Um, do you have a blessing? A blessing. I forgot mine. Thank you. Oh, I don't have what, my Do you phone. have a blessing? Uh, yeah, it's it's not. Uh, I, <laughs> I had a really good poop today. And it was like, you know, the kind where it both feels good. Felt oh, good. Jesus. Yeah. Listen. Just okay. Listen. Yeah. And it's like a dog where... It was like, oh, I barely have to do any work. Clean. Clean. Yeah. Love you know, those. I, I, I'm, I don't want to do graphic, but every so often it happens where you're like, wow, that was really clean, really nice, and I felt relieved and yeah. good. And, uh, and I'm, it was a good thing. This has been his last nine blessings. I've just <laughs> no, him. No, I said, no, 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 no. Well, then I you're wish, eating I well. I wish it was my last nine blessings. Hello. How good I felt from it. But yeah. Um, uh, do you have a blessing? 
yeah, I got my Christmas tree early. And that's, you know, I feel like you always are like, you got to wait till after Thanksgiving. And I got it this weekend, and I was so happy for it. Especially because I always leave for Christmas. So I was like, I deserve the extra week. Yeah. Um, there's sev- they're all, all over the place now, I would a- say. Already? Yeah, absolutely. Like the weed stores. The one I always go to in McCarran Park is, has been open for like a week. And was I it? walked by oh. and was like, I got it. Greg's Trees. So I had to, I had to go to Greg's, Greg's Trees. trees. Yeah. I've never gotten a tree as an adult. Oh, I love to get a tree. Well, I just get a little tree, and it's way too expensive because it's New York. So it was yeah, like yeah. fifty bucks, but it's yeah. like three feet tall, they're, really they're like full, expensive. really when full. But like, like a, a tall one, because we get tall ones, they're like sixty bucks. Really? Not I'd at Greg's like, trees. Well, you're like, in Williamsburg. I was gonna I'd say like hundred dollars. Yeah, me. I was gonna say it's at least a hundred <laughs> for a real come tree. Up to Harlem. Can you imagine if I put a big Christmas tree just right in the middle here. I'd love it, it would take up the whole goddamn room. Yeah. I just Good think luck. particularly because you want to be like, well, get one holiday out of the way before you go to the next one. But Thanksgiving and Christmas should be allowed to yeah. blend into each other. I think to- not as big of a total shift from like Halloween where it's like spooks and now thankful. You yeah. know, like these are close. I think Tova told me, I may be misremembering that she was like, I don't know if I'd like that a Christmas tree would be like weird for her. Like a Jewish. Big, because sure. she grew up so, because I think it's more, it's not just like that's a Christian thing. It's more just like, her identity was existing while everyone did Christmas. Yeah, so she yeah. didn't it's much bigger than a menorah. You know yeah. what I mean? Like it yeah, 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 yeah. They do take space. up. So every year we're like, we have to get a smaller one. And yeah. but it's like they kind of only have little guys or like motherfuckers. I yeah. just love the smell. And I love bringing That's the outdoors in. Yeah. You it know? was fun. You took out the, the, the old case of ornaments. They were all wrapped. Half it's of them were broken there. now. It's nice. <laughs> it's memories. It's yeah. lovely. Um, what's your blessing? I remember mine now. Um, today I had therapy and I had it on Zoom, so I'm in my own home. And my therapist complimented my armchair, and I love that armchair, and that felt really, really good to get that validation yeah. from someone who Seeing you're it. paying to say. Who it. I'm yeah. Paying. Yeah. <laughs> but he doesn't usually compliment my space. He usually compliments my growth. Yeah. Yuck. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, my blessing. Tova has a, a CPAP machine, and there was this uh, horrible thing. It's new, and they are they get the data of how much you're using it. Wait, what is this? Yeah, what is CPAP uh, again? Maybe CPAP CPAP for CPAP. snoring. Oh, okay. like a I big, didn't know what that was. And, uh. and it's been tough. It's been she has night terrors. She has uh, uh, she snores all these things, but it was this awful thing with the insurance where she had to uh, use it for at least four hours a night for for 21 out of the first 30 days for the insurance to cover it. My like God. you had to prove that you were using it, and they got the data. Like, did it felt very, very like uh, big, big brother. brothery yeah. with your yeah. And and you know she just struggled where she she in the middle of the night she have a night terror she'd rip it off, and doing four hours was very tough. But she she finally completed that run, so now it's covered by the insurance. I Ew. think indefinitely, and we can actually try to fucking use it yeah. now that we have she it, can, or she can throw it away. Throw it away. Yeah, that's Wait, the can thing. you put it like on an animal or something? As a... I asked, I asked, I said, can we put leave it on? on? Yeah, put yeah. It on me, but I honestly, I could because I have a deviated septum, so I would do the nose piece. I couldn't. Me too. Yeah, yeah. deviated septum. Jew- Tova you're so, has a you're type. So Jewish. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Tova, Tova, Tova likes that upward view where like one oh. nostril is gross. I'm and totally congested filled. all the time. First thing to go always. In is yoga, the they say breathe through your nose. I'm like fat chance. Yeah, good yeah. luck. You do this one where you do one one nostril too, and I'm like, you do this, I'm gonna die. Yeah, truly. Fat chance. Do you do you ever have a fear? That you're gonna get kidnapped, they'll duct tape your mouth, and you'll be like, I can't breathe through my nose. This is specific. And they'll be like, shut up. And yeah, I don't die. have that fear. Well, I should. I'm, it's clear. Start thinking about it. <laughs> maybe they could, maybe if they're nice, it's like, put and they a, often put a are. hole in it. <laughs> like what you do when you cut a frog, you know, uh-huh. <laughs> in yeah. the jar. Or maybe I go, tape the nose, let me. Keep the mouth open. But that says help, help. help. I don't That's care. why they tape the mouth. Yeah, I d- but I'll, I'll promise to be quiet. <laughs> but they ain't going to trust you, babe. I'll promise. <laughs> I, they'll trust me. We'll build a rapport. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is coming out December 4th. This 4th. is why I have the fucking document. I lost like the first it's page. It's called The Downside. December 4th. Mm-hmm. What do you want to plug? The movie being out on VOD, I would and, say. And we oh. have shows at the oh, Bell House. That's so oh, that's true. We have something okay, to plug. Wow. We have two big shows at the Bell House. Those are unfortunately sold out, but now we've added a late show that we're returning to our improv roots. And so that is not sold out. Improvisational comedy with Jeff Hiller on yeah. um, television and yeah. other fame, and um, he's going to do it with us. Yeah. So that is that's a great. What are the other shows you host? You host a lineup? It's like a big variety show. Yeah, oh, cool. Host, cool. We got a band. We sing some songs. It's Christmas. Sorry, Tova. But um, <laughs> I know she doesn't want a tree in the house or a Christmas show in the bell house. 
she, maybe you now drop down in her. Yeah, type that's true. Of a yeah, tree. That's sure. True. sure. I gotta milk this before December fourth, because yeah. then it's over, baby. baby. The run is over. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that's on what the twentieth. First, first, I think, is the improv show. Yeah. But, and also, yes, our feature film is on video on demand. Yeah, and see it in video on demand. And in, still in some theaters nationally. nationally. Yeah, maybe not by December 4th, That's to be true. Honest. But then on Australia and out. New Zealand. Oh, yeah, to all of your Australian New Zealand listeners. This actually is coming out there, I think, and December Spain 4th or 5th. Spain, too. This like I don't that. know, but you keep yeah. saying it. But I've, this has not been shared with email. me. It was shared with you. Hmm. <laughs> what, is there one platform you want people to go to it more? It doesn't matter. Amazon. We did doesn't Amazon. Matter to me. I matter. think it was $95 to rent. Yeah, now it is like the expensive, like you have to pay for yeah. it. So sort of wherever, I think. Yeah. yeah, yeah Whichever yeah. one you're morally most comfortable with. Yeah. But watch it. I know my, my sisters listen to this podcast, and I, I would think that they might not know. They might go like, oh, this wasn't made for me. They, you'll fucking love it. Oh, Victoria, yeah. Victoria, Katie. Watch it. I oh. fucking promise. It's so good. Yeah. I can't recommend it highly enough. Please watch it. We will put a link in the description. Really, it's been a long time since I laughed that hard at, a, at, at something. Thanks. Like It really is so good. It's crazy. Yeah. Um, uh, Russell, what do you want to plug? Uh, mm, well, follow me on Instagram at Russell J. Daniels. Uh, I'm not on stage in Gutenberg the musical, but if you go, you could be. let me know, and I will let you know if I'm ever going to be on stage. Cool. Very vague plug. Uh, <laughs> I will be in Springville, Utah, December 7th through the 9th, Whoa. Memphis, December 14th. Uh, uh, not the most impressive run coming up, guys, but next year's exciting. <laughs> and um, lots <laughs> of premium tickets still available. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Premium <laughs> tickets canceled left and up. right. So. At the door. What a road dog. You're yeah. a real life road dog. Come get the Hamas row. It is cheap. <laughs> <laughs> Taped up for Hamas. <laughs> <laughs> you can be Jewish and Hamas. We <laughs> exist. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Sorry, waiting for government, waiting for Hamas. You always have a one waiting off. for Hamas. Just waiting for, waiting for God, though. It's yeah. uh, just oh. waiting. Uh, December 15th, 16th, Janesville, Wisconsin. And then, guys, the big one I'm headlining the Philly Punchline, December 28th, 29th, and 30th. Woo. And uh, uh, join the Patreon, patreon.com slash downside. And, uh, uh, you know, enjoy the holidays because who knows how many more we're going to have. Yeah. <laughs> so this true. is the downside. <laughs> You're listening to The Downside. The Downside. With John Marco Cerezi. Tell him, Russell. Subscribe to The Downside right now. Where? Down here. Or here. We don't know, but just do it. Or also, what else could they do? They could follow the Patreon. They could subscribe to the Patreon. Ah, no! Patreon.com slash Downside. Pressure.